Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, uh, all the dead people in the water. Welcome to you all. Where the heck are you? That's right. That's right. Even Sin had to ask where I was. It was such a good hiding place. It's not an answer. I'm on the boat in the Ruby Sea. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's so helpful. The fishing tiny boat. You can invite me to the party. The fishing tiny really boat. Want. Yeah, you, you can still do it. If, if you, you want to. Kyle, I'm going to request that you screenshot me coordinates from now on. <laughs> uh, 1316. 1316. I can do that. I can give you, you know, I, I, a little behind the scenes. A little behind the scenes. I can hook you up next time. 13. Oh my God. You are the Why are you even where you are? Because that's where we're going tonight. We're going to Hell's Lid. We're going to Big Hellies. Here, here's 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 my how I understand things. You you tell me we're doing a thing. I'm like, okay, four lords. Yeah, I know what that is. I don't know where we're going for the specific beginning <laughs> of the thing. I don't look That's these things up. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Thirteen six. Oh my! Wow! Holy shit! I should have just started flying over the endless effing sea. I don't I know. Would have found you in the most recent in the video that's coming out next week. You said I'm like the person who plans out the Disney vacation, which I take slight offense and compliment to. I haven't decided yet. Why would you be offended by that? Because you know you you want the spirit of fun. You don't want to be overscheduled. But, uh, but also, when I say that, it's I know. what makes it it's what makes it fun for me. I know, I know. Like it, it's something you want, but I just hope I'm I just hope I'm fun. You know, that's that's my main goal. I don't want to be. I don't want to be too much like the rope drops. Yeah, I've got a schedule. I want us to hit these rides, but I want to make sure we're still having fun. You know, I don't want to be stressed. I'm sorry. I just, I, Austin just gave me a back bar and I'm super stoked about it. A back bar? What's a back bar? It's the it's the the the, the shelf with all the bottles, like the, the oh, multi level shelf nice. with all the bottles. Nice, nice. That is on that is that has been on. I I have a I have a wish list of house items that I have on my computer here. Oh, cool. And that is an item on it. Yeah. I have not publicly posted this anywhere, but welcome everybody. It's good to see you all here tonight. We are doing the Jade Stoa Four Lords, but first we have to do a side quest or the quest chain has a dungeon in it. So that's, hey, that's pretty sweet. We like dungeons. So we're going to do the dungeon first, going to do the whole quest getting there. Um, other than that, hope you're all doing well. We had an awesome time with 4.3 yesterday. Uh, we'll talk, we could talk about it right now. Like we could talk about it right now, but we'll keep the show like the later show if like people filter in. I, I don't know who would be watching Jade Stowe and would need spoilers, though, or protection. So maybe, maybe it's not a big deal. I mean, I I, I just more don't want to scoop myself. Scoop? It, I don't want to. I don't want to repeat things I'm going to say in the video. Oh sure, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Scooping. Have you never heard scoop scoop I've, yourself? In I've that never way? heard scooping oneself. Yeah, that's called scooping yourself. You scooped yourself. Like two scoops, like double. You scooping. gave away the scoop. Oh, the scoop. Gotcha. You gave it away. Uh, you can go watch the VOD from yesterday. We loved it. We love it. I'm very excited give about it away, a particular it someone. Now. You're excited about what? A particular someone. A particular someone. Oh, a particular. So yes, Kyle's yes. very. Kyle, there's a very particular someone Kyle's extremely excited about. I'm very excited about my particular someone. Uh, let's let's get this going though with Bloodsy von Snugglor. <laughs> Welcome to the Gearbox. That's a great name. Welcome to the Gearbox to you. <laughs> Uh, good to see our fabulous mods here tonight as well. Replays, thank you for getting us going with the super chat here. When they ask how you how we died, tell them we died of thirst. Water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. Or not a drop to spare, as the children's conservation song went when I was younger. Children's conservation song? It may have been local. It may have been a local song, but it was water, water everywhere. And not a, there's like a red bird flying around. He was talking about how the water was all going to be corrupt when we were older if we uh, didn't like love the earth. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. That's dark. Yeah, yeah. Because adults can't fix anything. So let's pressure the children. Like, thanks, environmental commercial. Well, hey, listen, man. You know, as an adult now, let me tell you, the previous adults didn't fix anything. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff H. Ooh, thank, thank you for the super chat, Jeff. Actually, here in the pixels today, still abusing my ability to send you money. What do you call a curious piece of toast? 
Okay. All right. Yeah. Wonder Bread. All right. We're both staring at this uh, one. Let's go ahead. And let's let's get that out of the uh, way. Jeez, Wonder Bread. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, well, it's a pleasure seeing y'all here. Thank you for chumming our water. Um, I I saw earlier in the chat people were talking about uh fishing. I am I am BC Burning Crusade fishing traumatized, so I have not tried fishing in this game. I, I tend to hate fishing in most games that aren't Ocarina of Time. Yeah. So yeah. I have also not tried fishing. I should, but it's just that the fish sticks had to be made for every raid, and it it was honestly exhausting. <laughs> I'm sorry. Limital's face just said, thank you for laying our anchor. <laughs> All thanks to Lazy Town. Lazy Town and my own misunderstandings. Mostly your misunderstandings. <laughs> Oh my God, Calzone! Calzone, a amazing name. B, uh, yeah. thank you for the super chat. Hey YouTube, been watching your journey from the start. I'm glad you're enjoying yourselves. Four Lords is a fun story, so I hope you like it too. This um, um, emoticon, Kyle, do the emoticon with me. Like a praise the there sun. There you go. Yeah, I like it. And Calzone, Calzone's a tweetness. I, I remember your name because I was like, hey, Calzone, that's a good name. Yeah. While we're on a boat, Kyle, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Put yeah, my yo, get, on. get Florida. Get Florida up in Ah, here. yes. Ah. It's good. It's good. <laughs> mm. See, Lauren, thank you for the super chat. It was an Oregon rhyme too, Kyle. Also, grand to see you in the Jade Soa. It's one of my favorites. Fishing in Final Fantasy XIV is relaxing if it helps. Okay. Okay. It was, it was more just like there was no, like you had to click the thing when it made a sound and it was so fast in World of Warcraft, you couldn't be tabbed out and it was exhausting. It was long. Mm. But I don't know if there's I like a mini game it. to it. And... I did it until like level 20 in vanilla because I thought that was the only way I could feed my pet as a hunter. And then I realized I could just buy food. Mm. So yeah, yeah. I, was, I was out after that. A will. Thank you for the super chat. Now that DC travel is a thing, expect to see a dark skinned femro in the background every now and then currently fishing. So hopefully Ooh. you have fun in trials tonight. Oh, fishing. I'm, I'm a yo will when I see that row. Hmm. I'm a yo will. And we got, we got Actually, fishing, fishing in a little hat hard here. To see right now. It is, I, it is that's as a, usual. It's a really good time. It's a really good fishing <laughs> outfit. Uh, Dude, have you seen, I know we've seen the Monster Hunter mount, but like the way it navigates, there's just an extra level of love in whatever happened in that Monster Hunter thing. I want that. I want that. I want that dragon mount, man. And dude, it's really handsome. I don't know. A, a number one mount I want. Yeah. Like, I really want to play Monster Hunter, but I have Final Fantasy 14 right now. So <laughs> it seems like such an investment. It seems massive. It it looks like a game that would demand a lot of my well, demand is a strong word. That would happily take yeah. a lot of my time. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree with that. So, yeah, yeah. There are so many people on this boat. It's a good. There's it's so a party barge. Boat. It's party barge, man. If okay, so in Florida, I've seen this happen before. The the police would pull you over. Would they? The oh yeah, yeah. Do they care? Yeah. There are police boats, and if they see too many people on a boat, they will pull your ass over. Ah, huh, for your own personal boat. safety. Oh yeah, that's yep. nice. Possibly cite you, maybe force you to, uh, you know, go back to dock. Huh. Yeah, I've, never, I've seen it happen multiple times. As a matter of fact, never, never really thought about it much. I have been on a boat one time in my life with too many people on it, and uh, it's among the scariest experiences I've ever had. Hmm. Yeah, would not recommend it. Would not recommend it. It's one of those like <laughs> shitty pontoon boats. I like whoever's role playing as the shark. Is it, this is a shark role play? Yeah, yeah. Someone, someone's got their shark mount up, and they're going in and out of the water doing the d deep dive. <laughs> nice, nice. We got several sharks going now. Oh, uh, that's good. That's good. I feel like here, here we go. I'm more, more appropriate now. Where are you? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I didn't have time to change. I've been playing Thaumaturge too much. I've been busy. 
Oh, thank you're you. are talking sir. to a dude who never changes until he just gets new armor he prefers. I appreciate it, Sid. Sorry for making you wait. Oh, I just really like this outfit. Have you seen my butt scroll? I got a scroll on my butt. Like, it, it's just <laughs> your a, butt scroll. It's just a great outfit. This shirt is. Oh, you so do have awesome. a butt scroll. Yeah. A great bit of adventure. That's, that's part of the shirt. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Hangs over from the shirt. I, I you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's, it, I, I find it a little, little, a little odd. That shirt's so casual looking, and then it has these high fantasy pouches. In I know. The back. It's got like, um, it's got daggers and stuff on it too. Like, it's got all kinds of cool stuff. It's got, uh, what is it? Uh, those like sunglasses or something? We, we have such wildly different tastes as far as clothing in this game. I, I, well, I'm also not in plate armor, dude. Like, plate armor in this game is beautiful. So, you know, I, I kind of be, I think I'd be like in leathers, kind of like in a red looking leather thing. And you know. I was going to say, every time I see a, uh, a, a ninja, I'm like, they look so cool. They just exude cool. Um, but hey, you're a samurai, man. So the freaking, the freaking robes you get, they're awesome, which I'm basically, you know, aping right now. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm cosplaying a samurai right now. I just really like. It's an aesthetic I've always loved. Like when I when I was investigating this game back in 2018, I saw people had like a ball cap and like a tank top, and I thought that was a badass way to play. And then uh, I watched Asmongold streams where uh, he was raiding with this was so this was back in Alexander. That's why I was spoiled on the Alexander music because I checked out his stream and he was raiding with a guy who was like cosplaying as Vin Diesel, and I was like, that's freaking awesome. So I ended up getting back into the game. <laughs> Anyway, he was fighting some robot construct, which eventually ended up being Alexander. So, like, eventually I figured out where it was. But I was like, what the hell is this? This is crazy. And then okay. Jujutsu okay. Kaisen has this character that fights in, like, a work suit. And takes off his tie and wraps it around his fist when he punches people. And it's, I just love casual wear in battle. It's so good looking. But... Yeah, some someday we'll do like a video about like our head cannon because my head cannon is like really weird for this game given uh, streaming and, and having y'all here because nor like a lot of this storyline is very much like you're the warrior of light, you are the solo person doing this adventure. I definitely have more of like a well, people are putting in the chat so the words in my head, but family like the whole kind of there's a group. I'm supported by a group. I'm not just me. It's all of us. It's about family. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I wouldn't I wouldn't split from you on that beautiful Hawaiian road though. Like at the end of seven. I would just, you know, keep driving in the same direction. Where where you at? Where you at, Santa Cruz? What, what you're fishing right now? Where are you at? What's going on? Some of this there's a couple of fishing. There's, there's quite out. a few fishers. Yeah, we got lots of fishing going on. That's a nice axe. Or that's not an axe. That's a oh that might be an axe. It could and be my a, axe. It could be a scythe. I've seen that old uh, Diablo necromancer meme going around lately, and I I love it. I forgot how funny it is. The Wait, one with funny. the the it's like a barbarian saying, "I need I will avenge my fallen brother." Oh, and, yeah, 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 and, yeah, I, yeah. and your and, I, and your brother, yeah, yeah. You'll have my bow, and you'll and 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 my axe, and then it's a necromancer and your brother. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen that in years, and it's been making the rounds again lately. And I was like, oh, yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, popular That's a good D &D meme. D &D mm. meme too. Uh. Lots of people get resurrected. dead. Clerics are better necromancers, weirdly enough. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> shall we set sail for uh, adventure? Also, hey, I learned a, a quick tip you might enjoy. You have to let the friends list load before you hit the accept friend request, and then it goes away. Uh, yeah, I saw someone suggest that in our chat, I think a couple of streams ago, okay. and I've been doing it ever since, and it, yeah, it works like a charm. Yeah, <laughs> I was always like, do. friends, but why can't we be friends? And slamming that button. Vernacular ham, yeah, good to see you. There's so many, like God, the the cross world, the DC travel has just bombarded us with visitors. Yeah. Every, every yeah. Oh my goodness, it's a, it's an in-game BlizzCon everywhere we go. Vernacular I realize Final Fantasy has has an event. I just haven't been to one, so for me, that's 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 the gaming event I think of. Vernacular ham super chat says. You have an army of fellow Warrior of Light supporting you from other dimensions. It's a weird multiverse headcanon for me. I like that. Yeah. I like that. That's nice. That's yeah. nice. And Winkle, thank you for the super chat. Adventure awaits. Huzzah. 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 Allow us to mount and head to Soroban. 
Good old Sorvon, dude. Enjoy. I, I don't know, fly with us, but yeah, I enjoy the fishing otherwise. Jack, they think of the super chat. Excuse me, sirs, you have not paid your ruby tithe. Please trade me one gorillion gill ASAP. <laughs> they better not be a part of this anywhere. Jack Lee, I, 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 I like you. Let's not ruin this by quoting those boring pirates. <laughs> <laughs> we got, oh, uh, south, 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 south. Uh, south, 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 Yeah, we got, we got to like go I around. I don't see a quest here yet. to the south. It's sorrow oh, we're not in a here. party. Where, where are we going, man? There we go. Let's get in the party. Where, where the shit we going? Where are we? Where are you? Oh my god! You said south. Off. I start going south in the water. That's, that's northwest of where we were. Oh no! I, I went. I went too far north, and then I was telling my. I was encouraging myself to go further uh, south. Ah. I okay. wasn't giving directions at that time. You. You know, I've never had you give me directions while driving, and now I never. I will. would be horrible. I have left and right association problems. Like, they honestly don't. They don't let me in war. Dyslexics aren't allowed in war. I would get a desk job or something if I got drafted. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. They don't want you on the battlefield because if they yell left and I shoot right, you know. I didn't know that. Yeah, no, they don't. <laughs> That's, I mean, I, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, no, they, they don't want me. They don't want me. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Shall we talk to Sorbon? Yeah, let's, let's, uh, he'll let's see him. what he says, dude. You would know more of my venture? Excellent. I should be glad to tell you all I know. Though perhaps it would be easier to let our anonymous client speak for her, uh, speak for his or herself. Here, they're missive. Anonymous missive says, For the Ruby Sea and all who call her home, we seek the aid of the warrior who laid low the Lord of the Revel. Revel. But first, we bid him make haste to Hell's Lid and quell the Oni that dwell in its deepest depths. Should he succeed in this test, we shall speak of the true endeavor and consummate reward. A strange proposal. Aye. Though, it must be noted that they knew both of your deeds and of the part, our part in them. The Red have no love of trickery, so I doubt it is a trap of theirs. And should this client have honest intentions, then for the sake of these waters, it may behoove us to engage them further. As for their test, enclosed with this missive was a magic dagger, along with instructions as to how it may be used to open a hidden passage into the depths of Hell's Lid. I should mention that this dagger is old and exceedingly valuable. That our client was willing to entrust it to us without a guarantee of our cooperation bespeaks considerable wealth, and more importantly, considerable reward. Wow, Sarban. If you are willing to undertake their trial, I shall journey to Hell's Lid and prepare to, to open the path. Ah, but given the financial incentive, I think it for the best if I went and fetched Mr. Sitaru. Wait for us there, then? <laughs> Money's involved. Summon Tataru. Oh, right. This quest opened up right after we traveled with him using his pre-business boat. Where? Oh, well, okay. An auspicious encounter. All right, well, we might as well fly. Oh, wow. Uh, I want to yeah. see that thing fly. <laughs> it just kind of floats. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Just kind of takes off. Looks like it's propelled by its own farts. Yeah, yeah. It definitely has a fart-like quality to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, for someone who, uh, you know, loves the stoner surfer bro archetype so much, there was one in the most recent season of Stranger Things that drove me absolutely up a wall. There was a really good one done by Johnny Depp on SpongeBob. SpongeBob, yeah, if you ever saw that episode. Oh, I, maybe I didn't, didn't realize it was him. Yeah, Johnny Depp does a guest voice as like the beach guru. Okay, Pretty I can good. see that. He does a good job with I that. I can see that. Oh my god, so many friend requests. I'm I'm trying to work my way through them, everybody. Oh wow, yeah, they're yeah, they're building up in the background. I'm have you seen Surf Ninjas? I have not seen Surf Ninjas. What is Surf Ninjas? It's a movie about Surf Ninjas. Oh. It's exactly what it sounds like. Okay. So no, I have not seen it. Tongue in cheek and all uh, you know, comedy kind of thing, I assume. I have seen the posters many times. It's new? at Blockbuster. <laughs> oh, it's old. Yes. Okay. 
I watched three ninjas a lot growing up. Let's see here. Oh, well, I'm going to assume where yeah, everyone's assume hanging out. The destination is by. Yeah, how do you, I, like, if you've done this before, how do you even remember where to go? It, it, I mean, it is a pretty striking place, but I would agree. Like, sometimes maybe it's all new game plus and right. Where am I supposed to be clicking? Oh, the ground. There's a little bit of ground there. I don't, I'm, oh, oh, it's there. Uh, oh, no, people are doing the sparkle thing right next to it. <laughs> you got me. You got me. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, are we in a, are you in a thing already? Yeah, Tatara is gonna be here today. All right. Hope you haven't been waiting long, Val and Tuna. I mean, yeah. My apologies for delay. I thought it best to explain everything to Mr. Sotaru on the way. Honestly. Oh, shit. Sh auto advance. <laughs> all he had to say was that he found a way to make up for Alphano's obscene expenditures. No matter how reckless or dangerous the scheme, if it balances the ledger, I am all for it. So, there's a bunch of monsters living beneath us. What kind of place is this? Well, according to the ancient legend, Hell's Lid is where the hero Tenzin defeated a host of Oni. Notters. Oni were foul, evil beings that tormented the peoples of the Ruby Sea. And this island was home to many, until Tenzin, together with the four lords, drove the Oni into the sea. For their heroic deeds, Tenzin was showered with riches. He then journeyed deep into the mountains, far from the realms of men, and lived in solitude with his companions, happily ever after. And now Valentina being asked to drive the Oni away again. You misunderstand. What I told you was a fairy tale. To the best of my knowledge, no one has ever seen an Oni. In, if anything, Many assume the tale refers to the ancestors of the Kojin. So what you're saying is that you've got no idea what's waiting for us down below. In that case, I'll leave this to the experts. You need me? I'll be hiding behind that rock over there. Bye-bye. Okay, okay, see you. You're adorable, Tataru. By experts, I presume she means you and your adventuring companions? I do hope you're not counting on me to join you in the fight. God forbid, I think you're some sort of ninja turtle. Oh, ooh. I'm expecting fire mechanics. I'm just glad we're like doing something with the volcano, man. Yeah, it's a nice volcano, right? Yeah. All right. Gearing up. All right, we see Sora. You're all beautiful. Where do we Where do we go? Oh, wait. What? Oh, entrance. Oh, okay. I see the entrance. Oh, so it's oh, it's the hole. It's that hole right there. You can't go in the hole. Boy, Final Fantasy is not equipped for dealing with multiple friend requests. <laughs> we'll just. Uh... Oh, by the way, uh, how do I turn off the notification for friend requests? Oh, in the middle of the screen during a cutscene and whatnot? That, yeah. Yeah, that would be helpful. Yeah. If we film footage is that, live. Is that possible? Well, while we figure out that, we can get... Oh, slash busy. Slash busy. Oh. Huh. Oh, there's no way you can just, like, turn it off? I just, like, never want to see the middle of the screen notification again. <laughs> Oh, you can scroll down the list and... Ex oh, okay, so they don't... They just don't float to the top. Maybe? No? I'm not seeing any of that. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. What? What's this? If you, so if you have... Oh, yeah, but as soon as I accept one, it repops the whole list. Right. So that's not really any more uh, convenient. Okay. Oh, well, we can... <clears throat> we can we can hide this here and, and friend requests can be done offline during the relaxing hours. Let me get that. Let me get that living somewhere. There we go. Get, get what living where? You know, I, on my screen, I have the little, I have bus on video, so I can kind of hide the friend request off to the side. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I mean, does Busy do anything bad? 
Your search info has been updated. I mean, I feel kind of bad. But it's good for pop-ups. We'll do that. Uh, Sir Carto, thank you for the super chat. Tenzen is a reference to a to a namesake from Final Fantasy XI. Iroa from the recent 1114 crossover event is his daughter. Is that our benefactor for this mission? I am still messing with a few things, oh, so okay. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> also, I don't know. I'm seeing if I could turn off the notices. But uh, it would appear that it's not toggleable in UI. Oh, it stops trade and friend requests. Interesting. Tenzin was mentioned the cutscene. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Don't worry mm -hmm. about Eleven stuff. Eleven was the one with. That's the one where they first went real time, so I didn't play it. I, I really loved Ten. It was I was the perfect age for it. Eleven was the first MMO. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it was the MMO. People still play that. I, I hear. I hear. I had yeah, friends in high school who played it. <laughs> I was I was playing Guild Wars. A couple of friends were playing yeah. Final Fantasy, and then World of Warcraft came out, and I was still playing Guild Wars because it was cheap. Yeah, well, yeah, because we were the perfect age. We were end of high school, and free MMO sounded good. You know, what? I might have that. Ba I'm trying to think. I think I actually started Guild Wars after WoW's launch, because oh, that's I'd... what made me look into MMOs. Mm. And I was like, Ugh, I don't want to pay monthly for a game, which is hilarious to think about now. I I used my friend's account. He was never online much, and he had, like, multiple subscriptions to lots of games, so that's how I played Galaxies and WoW, and so Guild Wars was the first one that I owned, as it were, and not until I got to college did I pay for an MMO my own way. Mmm. Alright, so this is a dungeon. Yeah. So we require so two souls. Two souls. Let me get a party password if you're in our Discord. I'll be posting a party password very soon. Um, but I played a ton of Dreamcast Fantasy Star Online. I just never went online. That was expensive too. I think that was like twelve bucks a month. For, I mean, that's not that much. In oh, that for Fantasy term. Star? Yeah, yeah. But you know, being a kid, like Fantasy Star would have been. What, when was the Dreamcast? I think that was late middle school. Uh, yes, yes. So it, was, it was around, it was after N64, but it was still like during the heyday of N64. Yeah, I think it was on, it was free to play online, but you had to have the Dreamcast subscription in order to play it. And that's what cost the money. My roommate in uh, college played a crap ton of Fantasy Star. Like was still super into it. And this is like way after <laughs> Way after its heyday. All right, let's see here. Hell's Lid, there it is. Let's throw this sucker on min eye level. All right, are we ready? Let's roll. Let's do it. To the Hell's Lid. I'm excited. I love dungeons. I'm really excited about whatever that dungeon thing is. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, yeah, it's I'm into face. this. Got some face energy. I'm into this. It's like a mouth. Yeah. Well, we really liked the return to uh, what was the dungeon? Some all. Some all, just because of the lava. Yeah, it was really and nice. And also because lava. there's no way it could be worse than the original some all. <laughs> so uh, I think I'm gonna like this dungeon just just on just on lava appeal. Dude, if that looks like a face, there's something wrong with your face. What? What? Dude, it's got two eyes. Look at the crest. It's Where's got... the second eye? It's off to the side. Maybe it's got like an eye scar. You see that? On the the, the side. one on the left is that's that. If that's an eye. There's it's something wrong with It's a little droopy. Now, now you're <laughs> wall face shaming the wall. It's not sentient. <laughs> Neither was the fake old lady. She's made <laughs> she up. She's sentient. She's made up. She none was of, sentient. None of this is real. <laughs> I like these little bugs. Yeah, they're, they're, they're good cute. bugs. They're cute little fire beetles. Yeah. 
This place looks good. Yeah, I mean, they got this really nice heat and lava effect. Like, it's, a, it's a good tool in their toolbox. God, yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that. That is some yeah. goopy looking lava. It's really nice. Love a good goop. Mm hmm. You gotta goop. You gotta goop. You gotta have, you gotta have the goop. I mean, look at this. Looks like we're gonna have some land falling. Yeah, nice. Oh, nice. Ooh. God. Yeah. Dude. Oh, oh, Fire demon, demon wall. wall. Demon Hell yeah. Lava Shouldn't have jumped down. I was excited. Okay, no, no, we're all here. Okay. I think you have to jump down. Do they push in or? Um, they appear to Just... be pretty chill. They are chill demons. You gotta run around. Do they have an aggro table or does it matter? Should I run around and smack them all? Uh, they seem to just be mad at all of us at once, kind of like a heal check. Okay, now they're all hitting me, so yeah, actually, okay. I should have okay. run down and pissed them all off. So, that's on me. Ooh, oh, ooh, oh, dude. Yo. Oh, nice reveal, what? Lion Boy. What? That was swell. That's cool as shit. Yeah. Hellish Lion. Holy crap. Bro. Oh, why is the wall angry? Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's lava. <laughs> All right, there's a fact. Jeez, Kyle, let's... uh. Let, let's really think hard on that one. <laughs> well, you know, I thought things might be coming out. Not just lava. <laughs> Why is the wall angry? All right, it's lava. Someone please clip that. That's so good. <laughs> I'm still laughing about that, man. <laughs> That's good. Glad you enjoyed it so much. Usually, uh, usually that's the kind of thing that uh, I gaff on. You gotta do it? Okay. Yeah, oh. that was quite the, uh, quite the wind-up. Yeah, he was thinking about it for a bit. Oh, he's got, um... He's got reskin Pepsi men hanging with him. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, they all pulled. Okay. I'll go piss the wall off. Oh, okay. Pile them up for me. Pile them up. Oh, geez. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's busy. call it a shit show but it's a uh, it's more like a burn show more god that was oh there's a hole Ooh. that was very cool look at this weirdo oh yeah look at this guy just being a weird dude yeah weird what's up my weird dudes i don't think we've seen him before he looks fresh yeah i, I can't recognize the model that's for yeah. sure yeah if it is a reused model, they did a good job hiding their tracks. Yeah, but they could have used like a one of the big froggy sort of dudes, but still, they put a unique take on it. Yeah. Oh, it's the Cyclops. Oh, yeah, good eye, good eye. Oh, it is. Interesting. Oh. Well, they did a damn good job dressing it up. Yeah, they really did. You should be proud. We're just doing a Realm Reborn music right now, huh? Yep. Oop, where'd he go? Oh, nice jump. Oh, he's, he's oh, puking. Oh, look at that. Barfing. 
just Can we do something thin. with that weapon? Is he angry? Is there something with the shield that should happen? Uh, uh, is it something to hide him to, or does he run, jump to it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> was okay. it a get the hell away from Oh, okay. Ah, like, ah, don't stand okay, near okay. those okay. things. Nice. Okay. And I guess shield first. to the shield first last time. I'm going to assume he's going to do the same thing yeah, again. Be... Oh, no, oh, no, no. He no. did the other way around. Okay. But tricky. And this time it's harder because there's shit all over the all over the floor. And the chair. <laughs> I was thinking take a shit on the floor, but all right. <laughs> just thinking about Swifty. That was a fun fight. Yeah, I was, like that. He was very cool. Is that a ferret? That looks like a giant ferret, which huh. would make it a mongoose. Although mongooses don't get that big. Huh. All right, then. I wonder what's going on with that ferret. It's hellish and naked. Oh, it's because these are the, the snail models, but they don't have a shell. I will now refer to the slugs as hellish naked. <laughs> hellish naked snails. Everyone else is just going to be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Take your pills, Kyle. Okay, there he is. There's, um... Lord of uh, Hallbreaker. Lord of Hallbreaker. Really, in German, they're called naked snails? That's adorable. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's awesome. I love learning about translations like that. Well, the wall. I'm yeah. always faced away from the cool shit happening because I want to turn things around all the time. Oh, wow. He's got a whole name. Kaja of the Seven Flames. Yeah. Unless they're all Kasha of the That's Seven Flames. That's true. I, I feel like we're disrespecting him fighting him here in this hallway. <laughs> His majesty. Well, it's just, you know, just imagine how badass everything else is in here if this thing's got a name. <laughs> got this is just the guy. manager. Eh, I probably could. Just Jackley, thank you for the super chat. Did you hear about the boxing snail? They say he's a real slugger. Oh, the ferret's back. Yep. <laughs> also, I've never heard that joke before. That's I've awful. never heard that. That feels like a joke I should have heard before. So well done. Slugger. Groan. In a good way. Kaja is the assistant to the regional manager. <laughs> I like the lava coming down in the blue here. Nice. Yeah. And then it's glowing in the water. Oh, yeah. Here's Kaja. Yeah. Yeah. So this is just just, this just, is just plain normal old Kaja. Kaja. Yeah. Yeah. Kaja of the seventh, my father. 
My cringe is oh. right for Seth Jinkler. Oh! Uh, what? The mongoose was some sort of mongoose spirit. Oh, it's like a ferret dragon. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to kill it. I love ferrets. We've had so many over the years. Yeah, ferrets are great. Oh, they're they're wonderful. They are they don't live. The worst thing about ferrets is their lifespan. They don't yeah, live long enough. Yeah, they're so sweet. We had one live past seven years, which that's is amazing. like, that's the most you can hope for, man. And I was still sad as hell the day she passed. Oh, that, that, whatever he just did stings. Oh, well, then I won't. wildly between if I like melee DPS or range DPS based on the AOE. <laughs> so you get a little extra more time to get out of the way of that because there is a, an animation telegraph for that attack. Oh, cute. Oh, okay. Oh, I, thought, I thought we were just going to beat the crit out of him there. I was a little worried he wasn't going to get to put on much of a show. Summon ether current. <laughs> They're the uh, the wisp uh, things that are always like everywhere. The wind wisps or what are they got a name? The parts around them though. I guess they're not perfect. Oh, you're right. There are ether. Those do look like ether currents. Oh shoot. Oh damn. Oh, Kyle I died. Dead. Kyle dead. I think I had stacks of vulnerability for being a being a butthead earlier during the fight. Being a, being a poop. Yeah, yeah. I was I was standing in the poop. Nope, that's not a button. That one. There we go. That's right. Oh, it's my right okay, to die so is melee DPS. So it's my so right he to take coils the before the circle attack, which gives you more time to react to. That's so the coil is go in, Wait. and that is get out of the center. Where is my um? Where is my limit break so I can steal the button? <laughs> oh shoot! Oh, lots of super chats. Get we'll read that after this fight. There we go. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Okay. Took a bit. Probably cut the DPS. Wasn't worth it. Come in. Nice. That's an interesting fight. One shot. That's a that's a thinker. Yeah, he was fun. But he uh, slowed it down a little bit. Let's enjoy the fight there. Yeah, I'm gonna jump down here. See what's going on. Calzone, oh, welcome my. to your box during that. See what's going on. Oh my god, oh, this wow. is some FromSoft shit. There's a whole other world down yeah, here. Yeah, we got a whole. Uh little city underground that's cool yeah look at this wow oh, we got a membership during that calzone hey yeah welcome to the gearbox yeah thanks for supporting kyle and me jack lee thank you for the super chat a weasel walks into a bar the bartender asks what do you want pop goes the weasel ah you get it yeah 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 <laughs> yeah it's a regional thing it's a regional joke regional <laughs> joke fan thank you for the super chat Kaimatachi means scythe weasel. Basically, it's a, a yokai the Japanese people use to explain harsh winds that seem to cut the skin. Oh, like well, that's adorable. There's harsh weasels outside. Like people say that. Well, it's 
I mean, they're describing it as a scythe weasel. As yeah. in, like, raining cats and dogs here in America, they say it's really scythe and weasels out there? <laughs> <laughs> if my brain didn't go that way, I'm so glad yours did. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> my god kyle sometimes i marvel at the workings of your brain oh shoot uh well you know it's fine i guess it's probably te fine technically i can eat the stickers my sticker management was poor Sir Carto, thank you for the super chat. Uh, oh yeah, so, so, so Sir Carto is getting in there too, saying Kaimatachi are Japanese yoke. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, they make a trio. One knocks you over with a cudgel. Another slices you with sickles. The third heals you, so no wounds are left. They re represent inexplicable biting wind. Huh. So they're like trickster spirits in a sense. Yeah, but again, just to describe weather. That's wild. It's like, oh, I saw a rainbow. Ah, oh, you know, the leprechauns are trying to give us money. It'd be like if that's how we talked about, you know, gold at the end of the rainbow or something. Oh, hey, we got a uh, Pepsi yeah. Man oh, and his two hands. And his hands, yeah. Someone yeah. gave Pepsi Man a hand. Gang's all here. Oh, How's the um, pool feel? It's pretty big. The what? The pool. How's the pool feel? It's big. I'm 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 dropping cooldown, so okay. it's feeling all right. Plus the he the heels are plentiful. Down goes Pepsi Man. I guess I could have popped Blackest Knight there instead of just a regular mitigation cooldown. I'm still getting used to it. I think about it a lot in boss fights. I don't think about it a lot in trash. It's not a muscle memory we have from World of Warcraft either. Like, I can probably use Shizui all the time, and I'm I'm working on it. Same with True North. Yeah. Ooh, I like Godly that. Zombie, thank you for the super chat. Japanese Jokai get crazy. Super interesting stuff. Oh, look at these Ooh, guys. Oh, yeah, I like you. I like them. Still win new. Okay, I actually saw these sort of models in the samurai storyline. It wasn't this exact thing, but kind of these crazy wolf baboony things. They're creepy as hell looking. Yeah, they're really cool. I thought they'd come up a lot this expansion, but... kind of what I was saying about the uh, the mammoth in Dust Vigil. Like, they do a good job not overusing models. Yeah. By the time so I see... So then just, them, like, just the mammoth looks cool. Yeah. Because you're like, oh, damn, look at that. Exactly. The griffin, like, same thing, right? Like, you don't see a griffin, and you're like, all right, big griffin. I've seen, like, a hundred of you guys. Ooh. That's a good point. But for some reason, the, uh, the mammoth seems cooler to me than the griffin. Uh, I'm like, yeah, I've seen a griffin. That's fair. Mammoth, I'm like, I haven't seen that many mammoths. Griffin Witcher was pretty cool. That was a really great opening. Yeah, that was a good Griffin. That thing looked like it would F you up, and yeah, it did. It was angry. Deka, think of his super chat. These yokai are neat. Wonder if they could make a show out of them, and then there would be a crossover with our favorite MMO. Is, is there a yokai show? Hmm. Hmm. Is that basically what Monster Hunter is? Look at this turtle dude. Oh, is Monster Hunter? I don't know. I've only ever started one. This guy's great. Oh, there's a game called Yo or there's something called Yokai Watch. Yo I don't huh. know. I haven't heard of it. Oh, they it. had a Final Fantasy XIV event. Oh, well, there you go. I guess I'll hear about it eventually. Yeah. All right. I uh, don't know what this guy does. Never seen him before. I assume something platform related. Mm. Since he made kind of a big deal about, you know, summoning all those. Oh, uh, looks like a turtle shell, so it could just be dressing because oh, he's yeah. a turtle. Hell of water. I think I made the right choice there. Blue is usual friendly, but oh, I am an explosion. Ooh, 
Ooh, what are uh, you oh, doing? Ah, uh, shite. There's what do a, I do here? There's a blo glowy on the far side. Okay. okay. The oh, glowy oh, is oh a it's like a thing? grid. The grid attack. Interesting. So it goes in the direction, I guess. Yeah, it looks like there was a little directional symbol. Yeah, see, so follow the arrow. So that's gonna splash. Oh. Yeah, okay. it's, it's like uh, it's like an RPG puzzle, honestly. I was gonna say, again, I go back to the Pokemon tiles. Yeah, yeah, that too. I remember the basement of Dragon Age had something a lot like that, where you got, what was his name, like Slate or something like that? The, the Golem? Uh, I only played Inquisition. You missed out, but I wouldn't recommend going back. Oh, shoot. Oh, you're doing it at the same time? That's cute. That is cute. I misread that. I thought I was safe where I was standing. I was able to move out of the way in time, which is also cool about that mechanic, but... I... Oh, no, he just detargeted. Ooh, what's what's Hell he doing? of waves. Okay, I, was, so... I should not have been standing there. He's got his right, he's focusing. Why... Do we just gotta like break through this? I assume beat him up, beat up the old turtle while he summons. Thing? The tiles activated. You you just happen to be standing on the safe one. Oh, okay. Uh, this one's safe again. I did it again. You're amazing. Thank you. Nice water. God, great effects. This guy is cool. I like this mechanic. Oh, shoot. Oh, my oh no. Word. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Now now I have to move. Because it's going to hit them all. Cute. Uh, not quite all of them. Okay, yeah. I kind of gave up early. The, the the every tile has an arrow and it so it chains but sometimes the arrows are pointed to the outside and then it ends if that makes sense it's a cool mechanic it's enjoyable to solve and this freaking boss model is great all right so it's gonna go that way that way that way shite <clears throat> Oh, I didn't think about just backtracking to where the first one started. That would that's cute. That's yeah. smart. That's that's how that's how you do it. Frolic and flow. Oh, I'm sorry, old turtle dude. You're super cool. He is super cool. I kind of don't want him to. Sad. He's not known he's at all. Like, he's got Yoda ears. He's like, oh, well, he's okay. Look, he's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> he was enchanted. What's that? Uh, corrupted. Something. You know. <laughs> he's okay. Sorry. The super chat's really funny. Did not drop a turtle, though. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, he's still there, just flapping around. Oh, he is still there. <laughs> take a, let, Let's get on the floor. Let's let's take a photo oh. of this turtle. You guys get it on this too. Freya, Hillary, awesome oh, really? Hillary, in the first awesome person laser. While sitting? I only just missed. I just noticed the name. Nice. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> I guess we should be facing the other way so we can see his face. Eh, he's butt wiggling. It's all good. <laughs> nice. Oh, word. Uh, well done. Exiting. Exiting. Super chat engaging. Oh, is there a cinematic? There's a cinematic. Oh, is there? Oh. The tiles are going down. Mm -hmm. Oh, I look so cool. Oh, yeah, I look pretty cool, dude. Gonna help that turtle? Please turn the turtle over. Yeah, Warrior of Light would help that turtle. Oh, hey, Tataro. Oh, 
Okay. Perhaps we should turn him right side up. Engage to Taru. <laughs> that turtle's so much bigger than it looked. You could have done that a little gentler, Tataru. <laughs> <laughs> She's in it for the money. Oh! Oh my god. Oh, the fat cat's here. Ferret! There's a ferret. He's flying. Uh, why is the turtle flying? Well, he's, he's a spirit. Oh my god, that pig is cute. It's a cute pig. Oh, ho, a marvelous performance. Truly marvelous. But then you did your best. Uh, oh, you did best the Lord of Revel. Mm-hmm. Says Floaty Turtle. By the comedy, a talking turtle. <laughs> <laughs> cute. Yeah, that's a cute joke. Uh, they, they, yeah, they, they, they saw it and they went for it. I don't even know where to begin with that one. <laughs> I trust you will forgive me for my deception. Tis something of a Far Eastern tradition, the testing of strength and so forth. A bit rote, perhaps, but anyway, welcome to Ryzen Temple. I am Genbu, guardian of the sacred place and leader of our little collective. Genbu? The selfsame Genbu of the Tale of Tenzin? One of the four lords? Oh, there we go. We're on the Under right normal track. circumstances, I would assume you named for the legendary being, but clearly this is anything but normal. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I would meet a talking turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but every one of us here can speak your tongue. Is it truly so surprising? After all, we each have lived more than a thousand years. I, I knew turtles were long lived, but I had no idea that was even possible. In this wondrous, oh, excuse me, this isn't him. Uh, in this wondrous land of ours, it is said that a beast which lives a thousand years attains a measure of divinity. This temple is a place where such auspices... Auspices? I, sp Ooh. I don't yeah. know that word. Plural auspicious. But yeah, auspices nouns. may gather. But take not my word for it. Speak with my comrades and learn their tales. We will talk of the endeavor after. Just when I thought I was done listening to Kyle's mount. We may as well do what he says. Besides, who knows what valuable secrets some thousand-year-old animal may know. Talk with the animals. Walk with the animals. Oh, we're, we're just down here chilling. Yeah, it's a little... And there's like quests and stuff. Little instant zone. We gotta talk to some animals oh, here. Oh, yeah. It's just me. I'm lonely. Genbu, just floating, being weird. Lady Fitchell, thank you for the super chat. The yokai event is notorious. It always comes back. Yoshi P is apparently drinking buddies with the show's producer. Oh, that's awesome. Blank super chatted. A lot of monsters in Japanese games are based on yokai, including Pokemon. Hmm. Oh, good to know. This is a completely foreign concept to me. Yeah. Jack Lee, thank you for the super chat. If a turtle loses its shell, does that make it naked or homeless? But turtles have burrows, right? Most of them. Oh, yeah. uh, more of a tortoise thing. Yeah. I'm gonna, gonna yeah, but yeah, because of that, I'm gonna go with naked. Yeah, I assume sea turtles they don't have. Homes. I'm gonna give a serious answer to that and say naked. Yeah, naked, naked. Winkle actually usually makes them dead. If we're giving you really serious about this, uh, Winkle arms length as a tank is your best friend for mitigating trash. As its slow effect, it doesn't work on most bosses. Oh, really? It doesn't work on bosses. Good to know. I didn't know that about arm's length. Okay. Gabriel, thank you for the super chat. Kyle's pro gamer instinct is too powerful. It's always funny to watch him get through every mechanic without even knowing it. <laughs> and then die horribly. <laughs> but yes, I'm a trial and uh, error kind of game. In gamer. one of those fights, you didn't die horribly in that last boss fight, That's though. That's true. I did not die in the last boss fight. Yeah, you did, you did fine. You, got, you, you just happened to be standing on the exact thing you needed to be standing on. Seldom, thank you for the super chat. Yokai is often said to get Kyle's attention. Yo, Kai. Yeah, that's yeah, true. I used to go as Kai, uh, as Kai for a bit when I was younger, because there was another Kyle oh, in the would. class, so I went as Kai. Oh, you would. Because Kai is a really cool name. Yeah. It is a really, it is cool, a really name. cool name. 
I, 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 I actually, this has actually eroded how much I like you by a tiny amount. <laughs> it's too cool of a name. That's yeah. You'd rather have I, his name Kai. It, no, 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 no. I, I am annoyed that that was an actual nickname you had. Ah. That you having the nickname Kai makes me like you less because it's too cool. Oh, and I so see. It just, I went too like, far. It, if I met someone named Kyle and they're like, you can call me Kai, I'd be like, what a D bag. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little, yeah, it's a little D bag. It's, <laughs> it's a little, yeah, it's a little presumptuous. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's a, a wildly cool nickname. It is. Um, Timothy, thank you for the super chat. Hey guys, enjoy watching you go through the story. I know you guys came from WoW, as did I. Is there anything from WoW you wish Final Fantasy would adopt? Yes, transmog. How to handle transmog. Oh, with the touching everything transmog. Yeah, yes. you just, not, yes, not hey, did feet. you get it? Did you get it? Here, it's now cataloged and you can apply it. Go. The fee was awful, though. I, I ran out of money transmogging myself. Really? Yeah, it was like 500 bucks, uh, 500 gold to transfer. Like, if you wanted to transfer your weapon, it cost more than the pants, and it was like 600 gold. I was horrible well, to get it, gold, it, but... It wasn't that expensive, but yeah, yeah I, I guess, I guess, it, I guess it was fairly pricey, but... Um, well, hey, man, that's why I want that system in here, so, so that it costs about as much as it currently does, but it's just a more convenient yeah. and more uh, uh, complete system. Yeah, I, I, I would like but, that. I understand the system limitations and all that, but... Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I've heard quite a bit about that. Um, but yeah, that's that's for me, that's the A number one thing I'd like to see from, from World of Warcraft. Just one hunt, like one-to-one, -one, just steal it. Take it, put it in this game. Like, any game with dress-up should have that system. I love it. Mythics would be fun too if they it. like remove the predatory and FOMO kind of mechanics that are surrounding it. Like the you know you get a key you don't want and the loot doesn't like just scaling difficulty dungeons. Which I don't know if that's the variant dungeon thing they're working on right now. I don't really understand uh, the language. I don't. I don't love the scaling difficulty dungeon. Although I guess that again I don't like the timer on it. Really is kind of the biggest okay. thing for me. Yeah, that's fair. I, I'd like to get rid of that. Sure. You know. It was yeah. a huge bummer. Plus, it encouraged people to use that rogue ability where you would skip trash, and then people would request having rogues in the group, and it just got messy. Yeah, yeah. Also, plus, I, I'm going to be honest, I think it made them feel like, oh, we don't need to make more dungeons. We'll just have you play the same dungeon for the same gear with slightly different stats over and over and over and over again until your eyes bleed and you hate this game. I don't know if that's true, but I can totally see that being a thing. Uh they they became um what's the word content um complacent complacent yeah yeah that's they, complacent is definitely how i feel about the last like two expansions of world of warcraft yeah absolutely uh have uh oh sorry argrid thank you for the super chat have either of you gotten the odin lightsaber no odin lightsaber? there's an odin lightsaber do we is odin one of those a realm reborn trials we skipped we weren't doing big trial things back then. Oh, that's yeah. We didn't do that. Yeah, yeah. Even one of those dudes. Probably that, that we will either do that at the end of everything, or we should probably do it before we start. Yeah, we, pro four. we probably should do that here coming up sometime. So, yeah, yeah. Realm Reborn trial. Okay. The world okay. fate. Oh, interesting. Huh. Super rare fate. Oh, so like when it spawns, everyone kind of dogpiles it. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. I really want to do Gilgamesh. I, I think that's like a bridge battle or something cool like that. Don't we also get lightsabers from uh, Palace of the Dead, or is that a different thing? I guess you get light so, weapons. No, they're just like light weapons. They're made of light. It's like what um, Alice fights with. Where oh, it's like the shape right. of a weapon, but the whole thing's made of light. I'm looking up the weapon we just got in the Super Chat. Oh yeah, Arn Grin, the Paladin weapon, Zante Suken. It's a lightsaber. FF14, gonna Google that. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's got like a blade on it. So I think of a lightsaber as just like a, a lit rod, which I guess okay. with the dark saber, they've kind of gotten away from that a little bit. But. Yeah, a little bit, but I see it. That's that's really cool. That looks good. I like that the blade is still in, the hilt is still intact over the, yeah. um, the look of the Palace of the Dead one. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna grab a drink. I'll be right back. Cool. And maybe play with a lightsaber on my way back because I have a few. Sounds good. Bartar, Garl, thank you for the super chat. Yoshi P wanted to add the transmog system from the start, but when they tested it, everything crashed. I mean, 
I understand. Like, this, this engine is pulling out some really crazy stuff. Just the mid-boss fights, the effects, the light flashes that they do during explosions. I mean, I was really impressed with that during my first time doing Titan. I thought the lighting effects in this game when he roared and stuff was super cool. But with the multiple tracks playing and the just, like, pauses, spell effects, jump on a ghost train business. Like, the engine, the engine I see on Twitter and Reddit gets a lot of crap. But coming from World of Warcraft, it seems like a really powerful, amazing engine when it comes to the boss fights. I know every game's going to have its limitations, but I think it's rather incredible, and I'm really impressed a lot of the time. It's just a hilt when you draw it, the blade comes out. Oh, cool. That's really cool. There was a couple of um, the tombstone gear at the end of A Realm Reborn had some nice fold-out-y stuff. I really like that. <laughs> oh, Jackley, good to see you. Are you heading out? Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll read this to Garrett when he gets back, but if you're heading out, I'll take it right now. Last Super Chat, big shout out to all the folks who have supported me through my dad's hospitalization. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I love you very much. My dad knows you've been supporting him and is extremely grateful. Thank you. I'm so happy to hear your dad's doing well. I saw you in the Discord talking about him the other day. It sounds like things are going really well. I know you guys have been through a lot, so I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for the super chat. I'll be sure to share it with Garrett. Real cool. Favorite super chat. Fun fact, the Odin fight was originally introduced at the 2014 Fan Fest. It was tweaked and changed slightly afterward when it got added to the game proper later on. Okay, so... Oh, that makes a nice noise. Oh, that's that's nice. That's a nice saber. Yeah, well done. So it seems like previewing trials is oh, pretty... Oh, my mic isn't muted. You can hear all that. Yeah, so no, that, so that sounded great. It sounded great, honestly. It was a really good lightsaber. <laughs> so they also previewed Lakshmi at a fan fest. So fan fest is their BlizzCon. And they just they kind of show off whatever they're working on at the time. Uh, but are free to change it up to that point. I I didn't mean to assault you with lightsaber no, noises. Suddenly, no, I it, thought it my mic was muted. You were good. You were good. You were too loud. <laughs> You're just flexing. You're just flexing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, circa 2005 is how long I've had this one. Oh, got the... Uh... The Revenge of the Sith Anakin Hill. Ah, I see. <laughs> nice yeah it's good stuff it's good stuff little little beat up but the led in this one has held up better than the one i got from galaxy's edge which is like what was that 2019 when i got that one i've had this one since 05 i love they don't how make much them like it. they used to kyle i love how much you love it man i'm just happy for you that's great <laughs> and you're just like i don't give a shit dude no seriously i got my D, &D books the same thing man like i i just love hearing people talk about things they love man that's great i love star wars so much man you don't even understand all of them bad star wars good star wars star that's wars cool. they shouldn't have made like the holiday special that's how i, I feel it. about monster manuals man just make more it doesn't matter what's in them just make more monster manuals. Just, just just keep it coming just keep, keep it coming. as long as you keep making it it'll randomly be good Exa yeah exactly exactly Exactly. Just, just keep going. Just uh, we keep got, going. We got some really generous super chats while we were gone. Uh, Jackley gave us an update there. Uh, I'm gonna. Dear God. Yeah. So, I'm gonna BRB, and you're at the super chats. I was to Sakarto. Oh, Jackley, that's I'm ah, uh, I'm 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 glad we could give you any entertainment at all, and then that's that's too much. You, you don't you know, don't need to do that. Um, but thank you very much. We're 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 happy to entertain. So. I hope he's uh I hope he's doing well. Uh yeah. Oh great, I'm going through this now. Talking about the Odin fight introduced at the twenty fourteen fan fest. It was tweaked and changed slightly afterward. Cool. Cool. Chad, feel free to hit me with some uh some quick quick fire Q and A's. If you got any questions, I'll take a look after this. And and do an at grinding gear on it so it highlights it for me. 
Uh, so Carto, anything about the Odin fate is that for the next instance, he'll have the name appearance of the last player who slew him. Oh, that's adorable. That's really cool. And then Tiger Mobile and Arngrin. Thanks for signing up for memberships. Welcome to the Gearbox. Thanks for supporting Kyle and me. Hey, Garrett, what's your deal? <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know what my deal is. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Do I have a deal? I have no deals at this time. You'll have to look for a coupon code. I apologize. Prequel or sequel trilogy? Uh, ha, um, I think I enjoy more of the sequel trilogy than the prequel trilogy, but I really like Revenge of the Sith. Like I, I like Revenge of the Sith more than anything, any one sequel trilogy movie. But I think as a whole, if you're like, we're, we're going to watch all three, I'd be like, yeah, I think I'd rather watch the sequel trilogy. It's, it's not, it's not perfect, but neither are the prequels and I just think they're better made films. They're nicer to look at. It's a more, a little more fun. Um, if that makes sense. Uh, Sam, is Katie a gearhead car person as well? Yes, her car is much more of a car nerd's car than mine. Her, her car is like crazy modified. She's got a um, little uh, little Toyota two door. Uh, oh, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, was, yeah. Did we uh, read uh, the car toes? I, I felt bad if I caused us to skip it. Oh, no, no, yeah. I, okay. I assumed you had already read it, so I kind of went through it quickly, but it was okay, talking cool. about... Uh, that the, but it's cool if you didn't read it it's worth reading because he said that the the odin fate uh has a cool thing about it that um he'll have the name and appearance of the last player who killed him that's really so that, sweet i think that's super rad yeah that's really cool see that's what i mean like about the ang the engine's capabilities right like that's an amazing thing yeah um yeah that's that's just the, there's so much cool stuff in final fantasy 14 that like, I don't know, man. Like, there's plenty of you can play an MMO. You can play. It's got tab targeting. Like, if you're used to that, you come in. It feels like a like a comfy, like a well worn glove, like your favorite shirt. You're like, yeah, I know how this works. But then there's so many moments along the way where you're like, I didn't know you could do that in an MMO. I didn't know you could do that in an MMO. Um, and that's the kind of stuff that's like really getting this. It, it why it's really getting the hooks in me. Well, and the evergreenness of the content, right? Like, you're not just when I see them announce something like these variable dungeons in the future, when I become Endgame someday, that won't be outclassed because I'll probably become Endgame Sunday by the end game and the end of this expansion, right? So yeah, it's nice to hear them work on things and say like, hey, we're improving this and be like, oh, cool. And in that way, when they say they're working on something you don't like, I think the community the community would be overall more positive. I, there's a lot of games where people are like, hey, we're working on improving. Let's use fishing. Fishing! And the people go, no, that takes dev time. I hate it. Oh, you could work on something better. But I see that happening less in Final Fantasy because all the systems work together in the game rather than getting thrown away each expansion. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I feel you there. I feel you there. Oh my god, we got we got a lot of super chats just while sitting here just having a chat. I guess it's Q&A time, Kyle. Yeah, yeah, well, might as well. The Real Kami, thank you for the super chat. You and me both, Garrett. I got pictures with the cast hanging on my wall. Good Star Wars, bad Star Wars. I've watched, read all of it. Love it. Love me the ro uh, some Rogue Squadron books. Yo, my local friend, uh, a shared friend of, of Kyle and me, uh, Abby giant star wars ship nerd has a, a beautiful replica x-wing pilot flight suit uh she's super into the rogue squadron books and has been trying to get me to read them um i should have read them when i was a kid i would have loved them i played every single rogue squadron game to death but uh i don't think i could read those books now <laughs> uh star johnson just super chatted a bunch of zeldas and said better than a sticker there we go i can't argue with that there logic can't argue with that. Except that the only thing is, I I have I have the dog, which is is I think the the premium version. That's true. Uh, Chris uh, Chris uh, Chris Sottles. Chris Sottles? Is this how I'm gonna choose to pronounce that? I'm I hope I'm not butchering that too bad. Thanks for the super chat. Have you read slash seen any of the EU for Star Wars? A little bit. I read the Thrawn trilogy, mm -hmm. way after the fact. I love the first yeah, book. Didn't love the rest. Uh, 
was okay. I, I, I like that. on the Leia on the lizard people planet bored me to tears. <laughs> like it made me want to put the book down. Yeah, I was doing audiobooks, so it was easier to get through because it just keeps playing while you clean house and stuff like that. You gotta do yeah. Darth Plagueis though. It's real like audiobook I, that thing. It's really good. I oh yeah, shoot, you know. I should order that right now. Because yeah. if it gets here before before I leave, I love reading when I'm on when I'm when I'm when I'm actually taking a break. So Arngrin super chatted, I have Kenobis and Revan's sabers. Oh hell yeah. Nice. Which Revan, Kenobi well though? There's well a couple done. Kenobis. My favorite my favorite is is like his classic one that was in A New Hope and also Revenge of the Sith. The uh, the grip I think is an old German grenade. I think it's German. Oh. Huh. But my buddy has one that's too scale of the movie because if you if you buy these kind, like these guys, they're usually a little fatter so that they can house the batteries and the LED blades. So they're not they're not one to one replicas. But my buddy's got one that is screen size and it is the most comfortable lightsaber grip I've ever I've ever held. Screen like it's size really, being. Like it's it's one to one accurate replica oh. of like the actual prop from the film. Oh, I didn't know there so was collector speech. If you if you buy these these nice ones with the light up like hard plastic LED blades, like they're very nice and they're like really accurate looking, but size wise they're a little larger. They're a little fat because they have to house batteries and wires and everything. So yeah, no, dude, I'm a giant nerd about this. <laughs> <laughs> You and I don't we, we don't Kyle and I don't have these conversations very often. So I I I know you assume my 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 nerdery goes deep, but it goes deep. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I mean I do the same thing with the used bookstores. Every time we drive by one, I'm like, oh shit, they might have an old book. They might have one of the OGs and second edition D and D's. Katie does that with the worst looking car car lots you've ever seen, like the buy here, pay here places with like the barbed wire over the chain link fence. What's she looking? We for? drive by. She's looking for uh, an either uh, t between 2003 and 2005 Dodge Neon, but the SRT4 model, which was a high performance Dodge Neon, they only made it for three years. Her first car was a Dodge Neon. She wants the. They've all been ruined because they were cheap when they came out. High school kids bought them. They didn't take care of them. Also, Dodge was garbage back then. So finding one that's in halfway decent condition is 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 so it's hellish. It's so hard to find a decent one. Um, so every time we go past the, a crap car lot, she's just craning her neck, just like <laughs> looking in the one? lot. Huh. Do they have one? Because they're, they're, they're yeah. like they, people didn't take care of them. Um, so how yeah, I feel about my old car when I see it pass by the old Subaru Baja I miss that dude thing. if they brought the brought the Baja back I would be hard-pressed not to buy one they're great they're great yeah, there, there's so many cars like that in Australia they're called Utes and they're like car trucks I why don't we sell them here I want a truck bed but I, I don't need to be a mile in the air yeah. I don't need something that big I just need a little more space that's it that's all I need it's ridiculous I screenshotted the, the first batch of questions that came in. I'm gonna see if they're real, if, they're, if there's any quick answers in here. Well, we also got a oh. new super chat there from Eagle. Oh, nice. Go ahead and you, you can take that one. I've been reading them all. Each expansion since A Realm Reborn has two notorious named monster fates. They drop tokens for glamours or mounts. Endwalker has Chi. Meme Chi in five minutes. Is that, didn't we accidentally do one of these when we got that sword for you? While we were there in Doma, the sword for me. Yeah, like we were chilling. There was like like big armored guy showed up. And I think that's where you got that samurai sword for your Dark Knight. No, the samurai sword was part of the MSQ. Oh, okay, cool. That wasn't one of them. Okay. Yeah. Arngrin super chatted. Uh, Garrett, I sent you my savers on Twitter. Oh, let's look at these. Let's look. Oh, oh, you have a collection. I see. Chi in five minutes. Okay, yeah, it's always five minutes. It's only five minutes out, guys. It's only five minutes out. Oh my god, you lit them all up. Yo. Hold on, look, copy link to tweet. Where's Kyle? Here you go, bud. You need to see this. This is Wait, rad. You, okay, uh, my, my, my Twitter. This is a I collection. Go by, go, my, go by my Twitter. I just sent it to you in Discord, a direct oh, link okay, to cool. the tweet. Cool. Let me see. These are gorgeous. Is the left is the far left one? Is that one of those custom jobs that it's like for it's built to spar with? I've I've seen ones that look like that. If it's a, if, uh, I'm I'm not up. I, I I wouldn't. I don't think I'd recognize a Revan hilt. So, yeah, that one that's sick. 
bunch of nerds in here tonight. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Okay, okay. There we go, yeah. Powering them on. Well done. Kyle, uh, what's that one last of the questions one there? Is... What's, what's that, like, starry hilt? Oh, it's like exposed wiring. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh, Arn Grin super chatted. I have one of them with Riddick's sound front, and yes, far left is for dueling. Red slash black is Revan's. That's sick. I've always wanted to get a pair of the dueling ones and just like, like, here, Katie, sorry, you're going to be a nerd now here to fight me. <laughs> what does Riddick's sound font mean? Sound font? That I don't know. Yeah, I'm unaware of that. Hmm. I assumed it's a, a Riddick thing. And, and Arngrim, by all means, you don't need to make all these uh, replies a, uh, a super chat. <laughs> you can just appreciate add us. Appreciate it, though. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I definitely appreciate the support. Um, in the meantime, one of the easier uh, quick questions to answer that came in early was, uh, hey, Kyle, which Eevee Lucian? Oh. Because I'm, I'm a Jolteon through and through. I think you're right about that. And in, in coolness factor, I don't like Vaporeon much. I think the the water ears are goofy. They're, yeah, yeah. The other problem was I just there were so many decent fire Pokemon, not a ton, but you know there was there was some. But getting a cool looking electric before Zapdos was a bit of a feat, unless you did Pikachu and stuff like that. I, I was a big like, Raichu guy. I had a Raichu that on, in my original playthrough of Red. I think I'd write you all the way to the end. What was the one they put in Pokemon Unite? That was my first exposure to the gentleman tentacle beast that was the heart one. I think that might be heart. Sylveon. Oh, I got nothing, man. I can't help you there. Sylveon has like a bow tie and then like tentacle, but it's a flesh, but it's a bow tie made of flesh. And then it has tentacles that whip out of it. That's disturbing. It is. It is a little disturbing. Jelani thanks for Superjet. Asperion with sunglasses <laughs> for the win. <laughs> and just Blue Jay saying that's Sylveon. No, that's Sylveon. Okay. Fairy type. Okay. I was never big on the fairy types. I never. I don't think. Did Roman thinks you're describing a hentai. That's fair. But no. <laughs> I can see why how you would assume oh, that. Oh, fairy and um, uh, egg in the basket was a uh, fairy type, right? Chauncey. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, Clefairy uh, was fairy type. Okay. Yeah, so there's some fairy Chansey types. Fairy, back when I fairy type. Was Chansey fairy type? I assume so. Oh, maybe she was normal. Maybe she was normal. A hen tie. Yeah, it's a tie you buy for yeah. chickens. Yeah, it's the, great. The bow tie yeah. on uh, Sylvia. They're wonderful. Good. They're they're adorable. Just don't go to a uh, you know a, a like a feed lot and ask for hen tie. They, they won't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Imarin super chat says personally, chain swords slash power swords are superior. I like what is a chain sword? Like a like a what a uh, isn't it. her name Ivy in Sword? Oh, Caliber? like a, like a chainsaw, like like Warhammer or Gears of War. No, no, I think it, the the kind you like whip out, right? Isn't that a chainsaw? Oh no, uh, people are saying Warhammer. Okay, I was thinking. Yeah, I'm, I was I'm thinking about to say I googled I googled chain sword, and the first twenty things are all Warhammer. I I think it could be both. We'll we'll see what uh. But I'm Moran one, so which one which one is superior? Which one they're where they're feeling here? Because it's their it's their super chat after all. Oh okay, so <laughs> go to my Twitter mentions. Arngrin who just super chat check your Twitter gear and I have sound on, you'll see what I mean. It is literally just Riddick voice lines. R oh, from, it is exactly what you think Vin it Diesel? is. Diesel? Yes, it's really funny. Oh, let me see if I'm gonna link this to chat so y'all can enjoy this. It is absurd. So when you swing it about, Riddick speaks. <laughs> it's the vibe I'm getting. That yeah, is weird. Just, you know, I know we cuss here sometimes, but there is some cussing. So you know, uh, listener beware. Okay, to okay. I, I, I won't. In. I won't put it on. Uh, I won't put it on screen here just in case. But everyone can go enjoy that. <laughs> go yeah, enjoy I'm that. Right. Their leisure. <laughs> That's hysterical. What a custom. Like, what a what a rad custom. M MRN, thank you for the super chat. Warhammer 40k for the Emperor. Okay, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Or yeah. Ezekiel and all those. One of the questions that came through in the original blast when you got up to leave was, would you guys want to go to FanFest? 
Of course. Yeah. yeah I absolutely. am dying. I am dying to go to a con. I miss cons so much. Like, I would go to BlizzCon tomorrow. Like, I'm barely, like, I don't play that many Blizzard games anymore. And I'm, you know, pretty grumpy about a lot of the stuff, <laughs> a lot of their games right now. But I would still go to BlizzCon in a heartbeat. Because, that, like, even when the, they were horrible years, when they had nothing to announce, they were so much fun. It was just so fun to see all your internet friends. It's always a good time. Yeah. Always a good time. Yeah, I would I would go to I'd go to FanFest Fan Fest in a heartbeat. Do, do they like I haven't really looked into it. Do they have them? Are they only in Japan or do they go do they happen all over the place? I'm not sure actually. Like do I do we, we got to go to Japan? I mean, if we have to. All over the place. Uh, okay, okay. 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 Do they, is it like simultaneous with multiple locations or do they, oh, they rotate legions or uh, regions. So it's like uh, Star Wars says that Star Wars celebration is in a different location every time. OK, um, I mean, they return to locations, but they, you know, they're never the same place twice, essentially. So they just like this year, they had it again for some since COVID. And it was in it was at the Anaheim Convention Center, actually, Kyle. Hmm. Oh. Um, so, yeah. And they slowly drip feed new expand info. Yeah, oh, dude, we got to go to one. Yeah, absolutely. Like, if they, they start doing this again, we got to go. I'll get that cool razor mask that lights up. I mean, I That's went what to I'll go in. a renaissance fair this year, but it's not the same. Plus, no one was forging. It was all it was all just shops. No one was actually crafting anything. I was a little disappointed. Mm. Yeah. Amaran, thank you for the super chat. Mix of Imperium of Man and Roman Empire. Love it. Is this a Warhammer thing? What are we talking about? Imperium Man and Roman Empire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were talking about how much they love the Garlean Empire in their previous oh, Super Chat. Oh, so gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And you got the big robots with the big, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to learn proper Warhammer someday. I enjoy I enjoy killing rats in uh, Warhammer Vermintide. I'm looking forward to Dark Tide, I think it's called, the next one. But I've never played a straight-up tabletop Warhammer, and I'd love to try someday. No, no. Katie has a whole. What are they called? Are they skinks? Skave? Who are the the lizard people? Skinks in, are the in Sigmar. Yeah, in Sigmar. Yeah, skinks are like the the weak lizard folk, the chameleon types. Yeah, she's got a whole effing army of those painted beautifully. I love the Total got, War game. It's great. She got hardcore into mini painting during lockdown. Right uh, <laughs> and, I, and I was like, right I'm going to get some orcs and we can learn to play. And I painted one and I was like, I freaking hate painting orcs. These suck. Exhausting. <laughs> and I just <laughs> fell off. I was like, no, I would rather if I'm if I'm doing anything, I'm doing 40K or nothing at all. And I ended up buying Gundam models instead. So, there you go. Nano says in the super there. chat, they super chat, death to the false emperor, let the galaxy burn. I'm aware <laughs> of blood for the blood throne and skulls or skulls for the skull throne, blood for the blood god. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh, now I'm seeing the, the first Amaran super chat. Sorry about that, Amaran. My my eyes dart around. Uh, Aloy, thank you for the super chat. I'd love to go to FanFest. Me and friends so badly want to go and dress as our characters and do bard performances Ooh. with our actual instrument. Oh, sick. That'd be swell. That'd be fun. Yeah. I, I got a guitar. We can we can get a TOS right now. Play some play some licensed music. All I know is Blink-22 and Green Day. Uh, Amarin, thank you for the super chat. I would love uh, watching you guys reacting to Warhammer 40k videos like Horus Heresy or Astartes or stuff like that. Not sure what that is. No, but that'd be fun. I have watched. There's one channel that does competitive Warhammer battles, and it's like shoutcasted, and the tables are really well made. And I watched a few of those when Katie was painting because I wanted to see if I actually wanted to learn how to get into the game. And instead, I just kind of found it fascinating. You watch like 20 of those things and then never taught myself the game. Occasionally, That's... occasionally, Chris Metzen will stream him playing himself playing Warhammer at some shop. I think it's the I shop. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can find him. The host reads all the names that follow the channel. So I followed it. And the, and the guy leans in and goes, hey, uh, thank you, uh, Kyle, 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 th Kyle Ferguson, thank you for following. And I nearly had a heart attack because, you know, my name was said in front of Chris Metzen. And I was such a fanboy about this random ass little thing. Oh, a star Ace is that fan made animation. I've seen some of it. I've never sat down and watched the whole damn thing, but it's amazing. If you haven't seen it, Kyle, holy shit, it'll blow your mind. What is this? It's a fan made uh, 40K like short. Uh, it's all animated and oh, it looks cute. it looks like mo it's movie quality. Hmm. 
it's insane. It's insane. One dude made it too, and like knowing that, it's just like how did how is this possible? So, anyway, shall we talk to uh, these Pokemon? Let's do it. I'm starting with the fox. All right. Uh, Am I busting out my cute animal voice for all of these? Fox? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm on the fox. I know the fox. I can do that. I'll be talking like this tonight. Katie, you want to come do your animal voice? She just went, uh, no. <laughs> she believes in me. Uh, Dekha, thanks for the super chat. Flash Gits has amazing 40K shorts, not for stream. Okay, good hmm. to know. All right, I'm talking to Katagitsuni. Says, a friend of mine, Tanamo Gozen, once called this place home. Possessed of nine tails, her power far eclipsed my own. But one day she left to live amongst men. What became of her, I wonder? All right, so this is like a little rapid fire yeah, yeah, yeah. business. <laughs> yeah. So Senri's Garfield, right? Oh, yes. Can you do a Garfield? Not really, but we could go with a, uh, let's see. Judging from the way you and that woman are gawping, I'm guessing you're not from around here. Don't know how it is in your home will end, but here, if an animal manages to survive hundred a hundred years, it begins to get ideas. Delusions of grandeur. Some small power, sure, but nothing much to speak of. Survive ten times that and as it's flipping over. Oh my God. <laughs> Good timing. And you become a full-fledged auspice. Though, speech, magics, it's quite the change, believe me. Which is why we call it the change. What? I never said it was something clever. Anyway, point is, don't let our appearances fool you. I could kill you five times before you hit the ground, but I won't, on account of me being civil, for now. Well done. Well done. Slam dunk. Good choice. <laughs> that, that cat is extremely threatening. <laughs> Wait. Oh, yeah. Time to talk to a ferret. So new here, the uh, red panda says they can call down lightning upon their foes. Is Pikachu a red panda? Uh, Pika I think Pikachu uh, it translates directly to electric mouse. Okay, so a mouse. Yeah. I'm glad you like to trip 30s. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, hey, Kyle, you, you know what, you know what, dude? Hmm. Can I, can I, can I, can I tee you up? Sure. Can I tee you up? No voice filters because I played D&D &D with you. Hit okay. me with one of your good creature voices for Kaimatachi here. Well, hey, that hurt. You didn't have to give it everything you had in the fight. You know, I only just went through the change. So it's not like I was going to slow you down that much. Well, I suppose you didn't know it was all for show. And I was probably really intimidating. Oh. Right. You were asking about the collective, weren't you? Let's see. Genbu's the oldest of us. Oldest in the Far East. Two, I think. One of the Four Lords. So, as you can imagine, he's much more powerful than regular old auspices like me. Ah, but you probably already knew that already. There you go. Well done. Thank you. Uh, very quick story before we take the super chat and move on. Kyle, you did that voice for an enchanted door <laughs> during <laughs> your bachelor party. So Kyle's bachelor party, everybody, uh, hosted it at my place uh, many years ago now. Too many. I don't want to think about that fact. Uh, but all Kyle wanted to do was buy an entire box of magic cards to have our own sealed event. Mm -hmm. And then, or drafted. I think we drafted. Yeah, anyway, yeah, we did draft. And uh, and and D and and DM a one shot. And it was my first time ever playing D and D, and I couldn't have been more spoiled because Kyle is still to this day the best DM I've ever played with. Thank you. And that was your enchanted door voice, and that's what I always think of now. Anytime you do that voice, I think of your enchanted door. Portcullis. Portcullis is his name. Portcullis. Port I forgot his name. Yeah. I forgot his name. Oh my God, Ryoko or Ryoku! I was. Uh, thank you for the generous super chat. Fan fests are an experience. I've been to all three in fourteen, sixteen, and eighteen. They have a lot between panels, 
in-game and IRL challenges. For example, the Odin and Proto Omega fights, as well as the always anticipated Primal concerts. That's what I want to see more than anything. That's pretty cool. The Primals, they're really good. Yeah. Yeah, they they like really good. They give it up. Yeah, it's it's wild. It's wild. <laughs> Mike is saying this is gonna be a good stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm vibing, man. This is good. I'm I'm gonna be gone for basically two weeks starting next week, so I'm I'm taking the stream in. Yeah. Y'all yeah. y'all are gonna be vibing with Kyle while I'm while I'm out of town. We're gonna be PvP and, and leveling Black Mage. We we got mm. we got work to do. We got work to do while you're gone. <clears throat> I would never suggest that I give you my login and you PvP for me in your in my absence. No, that would be against <laughs> the terms of service. I would never suggest that. No. Never suggest that. Genbu says, now that you have a greater understanding of who we are, I shall tell you of the rather thorny predicament we now face. The divinity of we auspices manifests in myriad ways. For example, I possess clairvoyance. And with my preternatural of power, have I seen a vision of the Ruby Sea, of Yansha, of Hingashi, subsumed by roaring flames. Whoa! Yeah. This is no distant future, I fear. And if we are to avert it, we must needs enlist the assistance of an exemplary warrior. One such as he who faced the Lord of the Revel and lived. What? Uh, what should we do? What should we do? Fear not, little one says a littler one for i have a plan but to understand it you must first understand the duality which lies at the heart of we auspices the aramitama the primal rage and then nigimitama the boundless calm these elemental forces come Prize the soul of an auspice, and it is only when they are in balance that we are truly ourselves. Alas, over great spans of time, or when caught in the midst of tumultuous events, this balance may be disrupted, and the soul may be divided. An auspice overcome by the Arimatama, Arimatama, yep, yeah, is a wild, feral thing, all the more dangerous for their divinity. Calamity and catastrophe invariably follow. Tremors and floods which destroy men's work. Auspices can bring about these natural disasters? How frightening. Perhaps, but you must remember that there are auspices who delight in aiding the peoples of these lands. Auspices who may have even wreaked havoc in the past. Recall you the tale of Tenzin and the Four Lords? What? The one Sarban told us before? About a samurai of the auspices who drove the Oni from the island into the sea. Just so. Yet I fear his accounting of events is not, an ac not quite accurate. For it was not Oni we and Tenzin cast out from this place, but an auspice. An auspice with the power to move heaven and earth. Koryu. Wholly concerned by the Arimatama, he stoked the flames in the island's heart until it very nearly erupted in a fiery maelstrom. Tenzin led us in battle against our mad brother, and together we sealed him in this temple. <laughs> Everyone's so shocked. But as the truth of the tale fades from memory, so too do our wards weaken, I fear. Forgot what I was going to say next. Should Ryu break free, he may well finish what he began and ensure my vision of flames come to pass. So, long story short, you want Valentuna to give this Koryu what for when he wakes up? I should think not. His accomplishments notwithstanding, it would be foolish for any mortal to face Koryu without proper assistance. To wit, that of the Four Lords. Regrettably, I am not the young auspice I once was. Oh, that explains why he looked old as butts yeah. in his, like, super form. 
and to make matters worse, my three compeers have nearly succumbed to the Arimatama. Kami for Fen! Three of the four lords have gone mad? The Ruby Sea is doomed! Nearly succumbed. Nearly. Alas, in marshalling their strengths to retain control, they are unable to commit their powers to the preservation of the wards, holding Koryu in his prison. And now that you have a full and complete understanding of the situation, we may at last discuss your part in all this, warriors. I would have you and your comrades face mine in battle and quell their raging Arimatama. What say you? <laughs> so I don't get to kill them? <laughs> well, it's still something? I am a Dark Knight, so wow. I am taking that option. All right, I'm taking the top option. You let me know what happens. Oh, ho, ho. You are an intriguing one, aren't you? We are grateful for your assistance. Let us brook no further delay and introduce you to another of the four lords. Oh, same thing. That's the same thing. I informed Bayako of your arrival when you first entered our domain. He should be returning any moment now. Come. Come. Come along. Just taking off. Hovering. The illusion Wanders. shattered. No, it's like playing through Mass Effect twice. <laughs> like you don't make the exact same goddamn decisions. I usually do. It's true. I might. I might hurt made-up characters. <laughs> In Arngrin. my replay of the uh, of the re-release, uh, this is the first time I've ever seen Ashley survive the first game. Aaron Green, thank you for super chat. So you want to know about tank-specific mounts? What? Or you know about the tank specific? I don't know about tank specific mounts. Tank specific mounts, mounts in the game? Uh, uh, apparently, uh, I guess so. I've yet to have anyone just bold face lie to us in chat that I'm aware of. That's true. We wouldn't know if you did, but please don't. And then Sean Felipe suggests maybe some mahjong while Garrett's on vacation. It's so intimidating because it's not just a, it's not like Lords of Verminion. It's an actual game. I'd have to learn a real game. Can we talk about this tiger model? Yeah. He's he looks amazing. Oh, dude, the toes what? are like pink and f pinky and fleshy. What? I, what? Dude, this bird is running away from me. What bird? Look at the by the tiger. There's a bird. I don't see a bird. It called oh. me a man fool. Oh, he just called me a man fool. Yeah. Oh, it's still running. I Gah. hate man fools, says the bird. It's <laughs> what a stalker it said as I chased it. Yeah, you can chase it around. That's cute. Bayako. Bayako. Argrin, thank you for the super chat. Paladins get a lion, warriors get a bear, dark knights get a panther, gunbreaker get a tiger. Achievement for tanking trials so many times. Oh. oh. I want a panther. Let me look. I'm going to look this up real quick. Panther mount. See how it looks. DRK panther mount. Oh, it's, a, it's the curl model. Oh, this thing looks sick. Oh my god, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to do that achievement. That thing looks nice. I like it. I it's like <laughs> are gonna be by Akko. Tiger. Get in there. Excuse me, my cat oh, my I'm over here shopping for a new ride. The cat is on my lap. Old friend, the day of reckoning draws nigh. Nigh. The wards will fail, and Koryu will break free. Before he does, you must quell the raging Arimatama in your soul. This warrior will help. Doubt not his strength, for he has danced with Susano himself. A bold, auspicious claim. Yet, if Genbu believes it true, I, the more I look at you, the more of him I see. A similar presence, perchance? A light? Very well. I will bow to my brother's judgment. Ooh, oh, excuse me. Can't rip my <laughs> headphones from my ears. <laughs> oh my god. The immersion is endless. Un unflappable. 
Genbu says, Wonderful. Then without further ado, I shall bid my comrade relax and surrender to the Arimatama. <laughs> Kyle Ferguson to the stage, please. <laughs> Kyle Ferguson to the stage. You are needed for both Lala and God. <laughs> I guess demigod? I don't know. I'm not really good. I'm back. Pardon me. We need you for a Lala fell on a tiger. Oh, uh, wonderful. Then without further ado, I shall bid my comrade relax and surrender to the... What'd you call this thing? Amamitama. Arimatama. 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 What? Here now? Won't he go on a murderous rampage? <clears throat> oh, why, yes. Of course he will. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed that. Why, yes, that's rather the point. He will be reduced to the pharaoh beast. And then it will be... Tuna? Val, was it? Tuna and Val's turn to do battle with my brother and help him quell the fury within. But if all it takes to quell the Arimatama is battle, then why did you not do the same for Koryu? Why seal him away? Because it was too late. As I said, Koryu was wholly consumed by the Arimatama. Per my last email, not remained of the Nigi Mitama. That one trips me up. All that he was, was forever lost to us. The effort I expended to hold back the fury, I will instead use to safeguard the call. It is then you must act, but know that if you fail, it will only hasten my fall. My soul is in your keeping, Valentuna. Do you understand? Then let us quit this place. Genbu may not mind the chaos, but if I am to wager my everything, I prefer to do so in the land of my birth. To look on those familiar wilds with eyes that may soon belong to another. That's pretty cool. So we get to like help him by battling him. Little yeah. Shit. Yeah. As opposed to it's a monster. Go kill it. When you return to the island, look for fury. He will guide you back here. I guess it's a bunch of animals, so I should probably just call him furry. Get it? Uh... Given the circumstances, perhaps it is best that we stay here. Would that be acceptable? Ho, 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 ho. Soroban, was it? Be at ease. I have a task for you and your excitable urchin. Follow me. I'm sorry. Did he just refer to Tataru as an excitable urchin? Like a... <laughs> Kyle, you're up. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> Did that tiny... Oh, excuse me, wrong. Did that tiny turtle just insult me? That's good. I like it. I like it. <clears throat> Swordbreaker, thank you for the super chat. When you get a chance, speak to the fat cat NPC named Senri in the temple. Didn't we have to talk to Senri for the quest? Yeah, we did. So what is Senri saying got, now? Maybe he's got more to say. Oh, excuse me. I'm still thingy. It's been more than a few centuries since I last saw Biyako. He looks good. That's it. That's all I said. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. His quest text was intense if you weren't here for it, Swordbreaker. Oh my god. Oh, there's little baby uh, uh baby guardians by the stairs. Baby guardians by the stairs? Yeah, by the stairs there. Oh look at them! Oh, they're so cute. Cute little demon dogs. Blank, thank you for the super chat. The four lords are based on Chinese mythology and protect the four cardinal directions with Ko Ryu being above them in position in some way. Uh, hmm. Okay. Okay. Oops. And Marin, thank you for the super chat. It appears your message was deemed spoiler adjacent. Uh, Mod said they're gonna message us, message it to us, perhaps. So we'll be. Able oh, to was it a mistake? It. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. All right. We'll keep an eye out for that. Yeah. Thank you, mods. 
Uh, Arngrin, thank you for the subscription. Garrett, you're welcome. Twitter. Oh, is this, oh okay. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll have to watch this later, Arngrin. Uh, Katie, thank you for the super chat. Have fun with Daddy Biako. Wait, we're calling the tiger day. He's going to become now? hot. You know, that's. Oh, no. He's hot. Yeah, yeah his evil form is hot, I guess. <laughs> of course. Of course. All right. Let's see here. All right. Oh, yes. He's hot. We're getting it taken care of, Marin. Once I. Uh... Yeah, Marin, if you could just repeat your uh, message. Uh... Honestly, just you could just repeat it in chat and add us. But if you want to send it to one of the mods, they'll get it to us in a we have a discord channel with them. So we'll definitely see it that way. OK, cool, cool. Yeah, no big deal. Shall we Mistakes happen. are we exiting the temple? Let's exit the temple. Uh, let's see if we're going to rendezvous in Yansha. So you could just port. Ah, cool. Go into the house of the fierce. Oh, there's a big, fierce. Wow, look at this house chair. of the fierce. Oh, to the house of the fierce. Uh, Marin said, I, Biako is my favorite auspice, but then I also loved the white tiger in WoW. The white? Wait, wasn't that Pandaria? That was Pandaria. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Pandaria, white tiger. I'm trying to remember this. Was it just a mount? No, it was Zwen, right? Zwen, like the glowy blue god type tiger. Yeah. I remember... Um, just uh, Pandaria is when we finally got new tiger models, which as a dude who started as a hunter and always had a tiger, that was a big deal for me. I can see that. I, I, you know me, I hate reputation grinds. I think I got, ex I, I got exalted with uh, the shadow pan, like maybe a week later than it was possible. Like I, I did, I've never gotten exalted faster in my life than I got with the shadow pan because I wanted their tiger mounts. Oh, and a Still to this day, it is the mount I ride the most in World of Warcraft. Dude, I didn't know you could get like a straight up umbrella. You look dapper. Wait, what? Uh, Mitrail here looks dapper as hell. I mean, they might just be chilling at? here. And in which case, if they're not here for the stream, I just cheered in their <clears> face. But you know, you look good. You look good there. Where, 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 uh, where are they? I'm at the tiger. I'm at the tiger. Oh, you're at the, you're out there already? Yeah, I'm at the tiger. You look cool. Oh, okay, too. I want to see this umbrella you're talking about. Uh... Oh, wait, wait. Is that you lost me there? No, oh, you look badass. Where's this? Where's this umbrella you're speaking of? Uh, a couple of umbrellas are now. But you gotta, you gotta oh, head yeah, on over that. to uh, the traveler it's here. Just, oh, traveler means it's they're like from a, another a normie DC. umbrella. They're yeah. adorable. Yeah. But Mit, that. Mitrel there looks very good with the full outfit. Oh, I love those kind of hats. I'm yeah. a big sucker for those kind of hats. Yeah. I'm enjoying growing my hair out, but my sadness is I can't fit a hat over my stupid giant I, head and could. thick hair. You could. You could always ponytail out the back of a ball cap if you really want to. It's 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 tough, man. It's tough. Dude, I I uh, I have to buy the biggest size hats as it is, and my hair oh. is thick. So oh, once the it. hair gets long, it becomes problematic. I didn't know you suffered, to say the least. What we is Sid doing to me? I'm getting head pats. I'm getting head padded. Oh, good. You're getting the authentic experience. The <laughs> Lalafell experience. experience. <laughs> All right, sorry, continue, Bayako. My earliest memories are not pleasant. From birth, I was shunned by man and beast alike. For my snow white fur made me a harbinger of doom. Cast out and hunted, I struggled to survive. But I endured. I grew older and wiser, and one day, I resolved to protect this place and those that call it home. For in spite of everything, it was mine as well. In time, they came to see me as a guardian instead of a demon. And yet, for all I had done to rise above the beast within, I may fall to madness and become the sum of my fears and their fears. Hmm. Mm. I like I like the bottom one because it suggests I have some experience in this business. Yeah, that's where I was leaning. It's a little cocksure. It's a but little, you know, I'm a pretty cocksure. I've never, never been a guy to say have faith. Such confidence from one so young. But as age is of itself quick, 
But as age in of itself does not confer wisdom, nor does youth go hand in hand with hubris. I warn you. Wars not make one great. For centuries has my Aramitama grown and festered. Hold nothing back, for I will not. Warrior, the time has come for you and yours to make ready. May the Kami grant you strength to save my soul. View the French fries afar. It's quite pretty. I think it's badass that we get to do a little bit of saving a dude by fighting him. It's a great bit mm. of variety. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's like, uh, it's it's what makes um, Hullbreaker Island hard stand out. Yeah, I, I don't I don't love that dungeon, but the setup for it is being like this training and just being about like raising morale and stuff. It's like such a different and unique setup for a dungeon in an MMO. I like uh, Crash B's comment. Combat therapy. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. What, is, what are video games but combat therapy after all? I can't. Huh, I'm having issues. Oh, we're, we're cross world party, yeah, because we. How? Because we did a dungeon, and probably someone in that group was from another world. Oh. Yeah. Really wish that would just like reset. Unable to send party invite. You are set to busy. Oh. <laughs> all right. Let me unbusy myself. Yeah, that's not a convenient way to, Did to I... handle the, okay. the request issue. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, I've been unbusied. Kanto, your your shiny pink suit is freaking fantastic. It looks really good with your sword. Well done. I love it. Yeah. Your whole outfit is phenomenal. You're making a statement. Also, whoever's green chocobo that is, it's gorgeous. That is a nice green chocobo. The green chocobo parked outside. You're double parked. Could the green chocobo please come outside? You are double parked and you are blocking in the air serpent. There you go. <laughs> uh, replays, thank you for the super chat. Enjoy. This one is a good gameplay spectacle. Oh, sick. I'm excited. And Banger Mick Third. <laughs> Just banger <laughs> Miss MC Third. Can you say the shrine of the silver monkey in your Biako voice? <laughs> <laughs> yes! You must go down to the shrine of the silver monkey and make your way through the tunnel. Yeah! Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> favorite show. Was was show. Favorite game show yeah, as a kid. Yeah, it was a good show. Favorite game show. What do we watch? We watched something recently that... I still like Ninja Warrior. I think Ninja Warrior is really fun. It's solid. I, 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 I watched it. so much of it that I feel like I never need to see it again. But yeah. Anyway, uh, let's get a code. Let's get a code. And since we uh, we streamed yesterday, so uh, let's see. Uh, you're on the honor code, everybody. Let's uh, let let console players have first dibs on this. Okay. Cool. We'll give so it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah. Make a new thing here. And what are we doing? We're doing. This is not. It's not a dungeon, right? Trial. No. Yeah, yeah. It's a trial. The the Jade Stoa. Not sure where right. you'd find it exactly. Recruit members. All right, so and we're going to put a... I'm going to drop a code. Yep. Going in the Discord, but we're going to let console players have at it for about 60 seconds here while we chill. Yeah, we usually give it a minute count, and then if there's a time or space, we open up to PC players. But yeah. I I, uh, I do not... If you if you join instantly, I'm going to assume your PC and boot you. <laughs> That's true. Don't go too fast if you're on console. <laughs> but after that, we'll let people join up. Okay, this seems respect. This is a respectable speed. Seems like it, yeah. 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 Very I cool. I forget how many how many slots there are in a trial. Yeah. I always forget. I always forget that it's a it's an eight man, right? Could make a console channel. Yeah, but how do I how do I prove that people are console players? It's true. Is the, is, uh, we've thought about that, and I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. Oh yeah, we will we will say uh, no <clears throat> no blue mages, please, or you might destroy the boss with your super awesome powers, and we yeah. do not we do not wish the the blue display to rob us of our hard earned victory. 
Yeah. No, I know uh, you were. Toto, who just sent me a whisper, I, I don't know how to put in codes either. Uh, so I can't, I know how to make them. I don't know how to put them in. So something about party I finder. help you. Yeah, I believe it's a party finder thing. That's how we, that's how we do it. The whole point is to get the party put together quickly and, and keep the stream momentum. So that's why we're, uh, we're quick and dirty about it. I, I don't know. I don't I don't know. Folks are giving me whispers about how to how to verify console players on Discord. And I, we're not we're not going to deliberate that at the moment. Right. Well, we couldn't verify. We could do like a role selection thing where you pick one or the other and then you can only go in certain rooms. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see in the future. We'll think we, about that. We got to yeah, get that I am serious. Not the most technically savvy individual with Discord. Did we get some so, ragamuffins? <clears throat> Super okay, Arn, Arngren, uh, oh wait, sorry, yeah, uh, oh yeah, you're gonna have to say this in your voice, Kyle. Uh, yes, yes, yes. The choice is yours, the choices are yours, and yours alone. And then Arngren super chatted, if you are on a platform, you can view people, and if they have a gamer tag at the bottom of the corner of the character screen, they're on console. We have tried this, and that does not, does right. not we work. Have, we have to be on console as well as them. We you can have... only see it if you are on console. It doesn't work if you're a PC player, which we are. But we did this a long time ago. Sarsara, um, we request again that you change off of blue so you do yeah. not blow up the boss with your mighty later lasers. Can they not change class when they're in here? It blew. Uh, my understanding is blue. Well, because we did it once in what was that dungeon we did? Was it? Dust Vigil? No, 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 no. What's the castle one in A Realm Reborn? We ran with the Blue Mage, and they blew up everything. They ran in and they blew up... Oh! I don't remember. It was fun to see it once, but I, I don't need to have that extreme carry experience again. Stone Vigil. Stone Vigil, yes. There was a mechanic where the boss was invincible except for cannons, and the blue took out the boss, no problem. All right, they have changed. Excellent. Wonderful. Thank Excellent. you, Cesara. Thank you. Sorry for the confusion. All right, let's get in here. Jade Stoa <laughs> and Min Eye Level is still on. Let's do this. If for some reason you missed, we encourage you all to run it. Like, there's a lot of people still standing around. If you guys want to do this, absolutely. Yeah, start groups. Go. Jump it in. Let's rock. Go, see if you can beat us out. Stone Vigil Hard was kind of miserable. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> it, wasn't a, it wasn't a bad one to have that experience in. Yeah, yeah, that bo that turtle boss is stupid. Oh, hell yeah. He's pissed. Yeah. Got a bit of a, a like an angry Optimus Prime vibe. Oh, no, he's going to get hot. Well, literally, it looks like lava. He's poured like into that lava. suit. What's going on here? Oh, jeez. Oh, my. Wow. Oh, wow. I see. Okay, I see why everyone's thirsty. Wow. Listen, I never want to hear anyone complain about Final Fantasy XIV players being horny because uh, it's Square's fault. <laughs> <laughs> they welcomed it, is, it. It is Square's fault. They invited it. They invited that is That is a... Wow. Wow, yeah. Yeah, my goodness. I'm trying to get a good angle, but all of them are of his crotch and his butt. <laughs> Come on, give me a non-butt or crotch angle. There we go. There we go. I got a good one here. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, check out, check out that rolling Austin Powers chest hair. Oh, chest hair? Yeah. Doesn't look like chest hair to me. It's like... Divided Day, by... Thank you for this. Thank you for the super chat, Daddy. Sorry, Daddy. Sorry, Daddy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the, the hand does make me think of Don't live get a cold action. glass of water. It makes me think of live action 101 Dalmatians with Glenn Close. I like that movie. It was all right. It's got some CG like in movie. it. The CG's real bad. The CG's real bad. Oh, nowadays. I haven't seen it in a long time, but I remember liking it. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna do one of these. I well, don't know oh, how this fight goes. I, I think I accidentally broke my ready check. Okay, here we go. We don't research things the first time we do them. Yep. So if this is your first time watching us do new content for the first time, we might die. Yep, it happens. 
Attention, attention, uh, stream viewers. You may experience some turbulence and then explode. I love the concept of this fight here that we're fighting his inner rage. Yeah. Okay, that did not do enough damage to trigger Black Knight, but that did. Okay, cool. So there's enough. They're quick enough in succession. State of shock. Whoa. Oh, oh it's all the way over there. He's gonna throw me. Oh, that was pretty That's cool yeah. as hell. So he threw you as the slam and we had to be there to body it so that you didn't take all the damage. Trust fall. That's pretty cool. Cool idea. That was such a cool mechanic. Heavenly strike. Oh, that hurts like a bee. Whoa. Unrelenting anguish. He just anime teleported. Yeah, that was quite the yell, too. Storm. Pulse. Oh, he's putting oh, out. There's bubbles. Yeah, he's Why putting out bubbles? balls. I don't know. I don't know what the purpose. Oh, sh what does that mean? What? What a cool telegraph. Oh, my God. Yo, he just played a Kamehameha. I am confused. I'm very into this fight. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! The okay, so bubbles hurt. Could have been assumed, but not. I have tested officially. <laughs> you didn't make them. They're bad. Whoa. Oh, that animation of his arm coming off and animating into his drag or dragon tiger form is nuts. That was so good. Ooh, ooh, that, that, that doesn't seem, this doesn't seem healthy. Yeah, you... yeah, that's a big swipe. You don't want to stand in that. What does that mean again? Oh, I think uh, it means shit. the lasers are going to shoot on that angle. I believe oh, I, that's I think it's a runaway. Run away and don't be in the lines, essentially, that would be emanating from that. The roar of thunder. Uh, that's charging very slowly. Is that a DPS check? Oh, yeah, that seems right. I'm not sure we're going to make it. I think we can make it. It'll be a photo finish, Lois. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Nope, we did not make it. All creation trembles before uh oh. My uh. Behold, uh. Are, are we dead? <laughs> oh He's my word! Giving us a tornado. Scene change. Do we have up? My wrath is a ceaseless torrent! What? Evade? What? Oh my... We're like skydiving. Yo! This is so cool! Oh, there's stuff below. Oh crap, I was looking yeah. sideways. Yeah, move, man. You move, bro. Dude. Holy shit, this is so cool. I really wish I had pants on right now because it looks like I'm wearing my <laughs> 90s. <laughs> I wish I had pants on right now. This armor set doesn't have pants. And so when your robe blows up, you're just looking at your underwear. I, you, you just, you can't, this is cheating. You shouldn't be able to do this in MMO. This is amazing. Yeah, this is very impressive. No more games. This just became the best wow. trial I've ever done. This is it, right here. Get the get the wall of trials, Kyle. I guess this would go on it. It's a trial. Oh, ooh, oh, oh, that's trials. that's oh. pretty. Um, oh my am I, word! Are we gonna be okay? What is happening? Very well. I shall bring all to bear. <laughs> I love the cut of his gym. And then rock music. Of course. Naturally. Ladies and gentlemen, the primals. Heavenly strike. Lightning 
If you die during that phase, does your body just float dead? Why, why is no one running from that? That seems awful. Oh, it does like... Oh! Oh, shoot. Whoa. Oh. oh. What the butts? Oh, oh, what? He, oh, the dear. shite. Collapse on him. It looks like the safe zone is him. Oh. I'm just gonna not participate for a little bit. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, I get it. I, I get it now. Mostly. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Oh, here we, here oh we he's go. doing it again. Yep. Trust fall. <laughs> That's so fun. I love that mechanic. More bosses with that, please. Woo! This is some shit! You freaking giant tiger laser. The laser of the tiger. I love that yellow fizz. He's so pissed. We're helping him. Uh, oh, see oh, 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 oh. There's balls. Don't touch the balls, Kyle. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle's making farting noises. What is he doing wrong, everybody? It's all good. It's all good. I live. <laughs> Doesn't that matter. Kyle's frustrated noise. You don't hear it often, but sometimes you hear it. <laughs> I, love, I love that you just start blowing around the face, man. <laughs> You're usually so collected, so it's hilarious when it happens. <laughs> that all you got? The heels are amazing, by yeah. the way, everybody. I feel like a righteous badass. I'm like not even breaking a sweat over here. I'm taking it. This is called Doom of the Living? That's badass. That fight was incredible. That was wild. That's Yoshi P singing that song? That's nuts. This game is a feast for the eyes. Oh, he's time all for better. <laughs> he's all better, right? Oh, thanks for kicking my ass. Oh, I he feel did much better. Now. Okay. That's still really cool. This arena is awesome looking. Yeah. Well, look at all the trees that went down during our epic battle. That's awesome. What a touch. Yeah. Look at the skybox, dude. Holy shit. Were they down when we landed? I wasn't paying attention because I was looking at the giant angry tiger man. They were down when we landed. That's cool. Nice touch. Oh, cool. Uh, the the rest of everyone's uh, running another version. They're a couple percents behind us, but they're right behind us. Oh, Glad hell yeah. Glad put together a party. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, w I would love for that to be the, the regular way we handle things is... There's always so many people hanging, like, start start groups, go. Up. It's like we're a big group going through a theme park. Like, get over we here. We can't all get on the same roller coaster train. Sorry, I was I was getting my own shot at the skybox. Yeah. I apologize. Let me uh, get into my idle animation there. There we go. There you go. I, I have posed. I have posed. Perfect. Over here hanging out with uh, Solomir, which is a great name, by the way. Such great serenity, name. such peace. Yeah, GG, y'all. That was that was that was a cool fight. He was super. That's cool. my favorite trial so far, without a doubt. That was so good. That was so freaking good. It was really, it was a really fun dance to do. Though my body aches, 
such serenity, such peace. Oh, fun fact, the extreme version is where Kyle's sword comes from. Oh man, I'm such a cheater. I was gifted this. It's a super cool sword. I love the sort of ink effect it has. Oh, now that, now that like, yeah, it's got like the electricity from the sky. Yeah, I totally see it now. That's awesome. Uh, Sully Beans, thank you for the super chat. It says, behold, furry given form. <laughs> All right. I, I kind of get it now. <laughs> Bangor, thank you for the super chat. If you die before the tornado, your body spins towards the ground head first like a spinning suplex. That's Aww. kind of hilarious. Oh, that's great. And then Walk Seva, thank you for the super chat. In traditional 14 fashion, the lyrics are a trove of story and emotion. Amatsu Kai's. Oh, cool. I, I need to go on a deep, a deep journey of reading lyrics. That's what I need to do. Oh, look at the mist around the ring on the edge. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, when we do Wall of Music, we'll make sure we include lyrics in the. Oh, it's, don't down. say that. It's going to be so much work. It will be. Well, that's why we haven't declared we're doing Wall of Music yet either, because it's going to be a lot of work. Because <laughs> we have to find visuals for it, too. It's a video. I don't know. Where we, that's the, <clears throat> it would be a lot of work. <laughs> well, where you do visuals where it comes from. The visuals, I think, is an easy part. It's like, where did it first appear? Show that. Anyway. Uh, let's exit, shall we? All right, sounds good. Dacoth, oh my god, you could grind meat on those abs. <laughs> Dacoth is on brand. Grind meat? Like, I've heard, like, like clean your clothes. You know, washboard abs, but... Yeah, I've heard of washboard abs, Grind but... meat? Grind meat, that's a that's whole a new, new level of thirsty. Yeah, I'm just like, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, dude, uh, dude, I made smash burgers for the first time on the 4th of July. They were amazing. What's a smash burger? I've heard of smash cakes. Uh, the, what's a what's a place you probably know? You ever been to Steak and Shake? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the really flat where it gets like the really super crispy edges. Oh, okay. The oh, so like, like it's literally you, smashed. Would you make them? They're like tiny, like fat circles, and so you put them on a screaming hot skillet, and you just smoosh them down at the very beginning, so you get maximum surface area, and you just get that wonderful. What is it called? Uh, uh, there's a name for it. it starts with an M. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Anyway, it was delicious. It was freaking great. Because <laughs> you great. shred it? Yeah, but you shred me. Like, I guess you could say, get me some cheese because that guy's shredded or something along those lines. Maillard, thank you. The Maillard, uh, Maillard reaction. It's where you get like the, the browning, the per that perfect what? like scorched browning on meat. Oh, I didn't know that was called that. Yeah, yeah. Don't you want to so not whole... press your meat and juice it because that's bad and it'll give you a heart? Not once it's cooking, but at the if you oh. do it at, right at the beginning of cooking, you're go you're golden. Oh, you're, you're golden. But if like your burger's already cooked and then you start squeezing it, you're just squeezing out all the good stuff. Hmm. Um, also, you typically you would do a smash burger with a much higher fat percentage ground beef. So I I got eighty twenty. They recommend seventy five twenty five. Oh but, damn. Oh, yeah. so you really wanted to like crispify. Yeah, yeah, you want to have a high fat content beef to make a smash burger. So, but we did it with 8020 and it was freaking delicious. It was a very rich burger. Yeah, it was ooh, it was good. But also my tummy was rumbling and I didn't sleep all that night. <laughs> Sounds like it. Yeah. We are Chris, over 30 after all. Yes. Yeah. Chris, thanks for the super chat. Every time I get this trial on my daily roulette, it's a great day. <laughs> I can see why. That yeah. thing is oh. So good. 70 30 is best. I don't even know you could buy 70 30. Are they just like throwing bacon fat in there? <laughs> like cutting it? Like, my God. How are you guys still sprouts? Because uh, we're still in Stormblood. Right. Oh, I, I've heard that it's 300 hours or the newest expansion, but we're still sprouts, right? Right? How do I actually see if I'm a sprout or not? Where are you? Where are you at right now? There know. you are. How, how do I see yeah, if you're I'm a sprout? sprout? Yeah. How do I see? Wait, what, yeah, so you, you just to... like click? Yeah, so it has to be both. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You okay. Sprout next to your name. Okay. Cool. I've heard or. You need both. Oh. I've heard or a lot, so I think there's a misconception around. Hmm. What is. Is the slash blade worked? What is time played, maybe? What's 300 hours and the latest expansion, says Luke. I trust slash Luke. Luke tends to know what he's talking about. Slash be time. 
Uh, 18 days, 20 hours, and 44 minutes for me. Thir 13 days, 8 hours, and 40 okay. minutes. Okay. Yeah. I, I have... St I, the, the, the problem with the stream, I, I, I don't play as much off stream anymore because I enjoy playing on stream so much. And then, like, anything I want to do, anything at all, Kyle, I'm getting this weird... It, it, is there a word for like FOMO but for fear of not streaming this yeah absolutely <laughs> like, I'm like oh I should go do a class and I'm like or a job like a bunch of job quests for like side jobs I want I'm like but that would be good stream content <laughs> like no I so feel stopped, that I've stopped playing so much when we're not streaming I really like I really like leveling jobs it's just so chill so I have I have sacrificed that content to the mm. to my own enjoyment of the game in many way but because I think that's um I think it's easy to fall into that trap to feel like you got to stream everything. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, it's like there's also a feeling of this with this game or any MMO where it's like if I'm if I'm going to fire up Final Fantasy, I am most likely going to sit down for a few hours like and get ingrained. And if in my head, it's like might as well stream <laughs> like right because yeah. I, I don't know. There are definitely days where I don't feel like, you know, performing like I absolutely like, I don't know. That, that's how I feel but, about PvP, honestly. When I sit down to do some PvP at night, I'm like, yeah, but who will see me if I'm a total badass in there? I'll save for a stream someday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's 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 interesting. It's interesting. Oh, what's someone? I'm getting whispered stuff. I'm sorry if I miss whispers, everybody. Uh, let's see. Try on. I think I have this sword. I think I have that sword, Sim. Or something similar. It looks familiar. I need to. I need to take stock of everything I've shoved in my glamour dresser. All right, let's see here. I will also say there are days where I'm like, I'm kind of fried, and I'm like a little worried about being on stream. And then I sit down, and it's uh, just instant energy. It's like you you get in the groove, and you're just like, man, what was I worried about? <laughs> I feel that. Y'all, y'all give me energy. Also, it's like cool about the duo stream, like, cause then it's like, well, even if, even if I'm like kind of tired, it's like, oh, just, just hanging out with my buddy. Exactly. Just, just, we're just going vibe. We'll just I'm, answer questions about our favorite Star Wars lightsabers and play a game and have a good time. Well, the cool thing is we get to do new content on stream, but also in the background we're building up the content that'll come up in a roulette. So like the super chat we just got, like, our roulettes have been a little limited but each time we add something to it you know we build that like i went to praetorium so many times right after six point oh, was it six point one when they did the redone praetorium i ended up there over and over again because i was leveling my samurai to get ready for stormblood that's how i knew about the end oh, okay yeah, yeah yeah i see sorry i see what sin was trying to do so, so sin's rocking a sword that uh, Sin gifted me, uh, and I believe it is the oh, Dark wow. Knight sword from the thing we just did. That doesn't look like so, a sword. That is over in my my glamour dresser. That looks like a whole gun. <laughs> it is. Like it a is rocket launcher. It, it, it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, uh, Christian, I, so I take it you're an extrovert then. You know, for a long time I considered myself an extrovert, but the more I do content, the more the the less I want to talk when I'm not doing content. <laughs> The best way I've heard it described is it's where you recharge and I recharge alone. So I am introverted mm. for sure. But we do have, yeah. I mean, it's still pretty early. We can totally go hit up another. Let's let's finish out the quest, of course, but we can do another dungeon yeah. here. Let's do that. Yeah, I do. I'm totally. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm vibing. I'm enjoying the stream. Let's do it. You are. Oh, you're Bayako. I'm getting all. I'm just charging ahead. Just charging ahead. Sorry, Kyle. Oh, yeah, no problem. No problem. You are indeed the warrior, they say. Not unlike him, in many respects. Him? I'm assuming the Final Fantasy XI dude. Oh, right, right, right. Twas in another era that we first met, him and I, long, long before the kingdom of Doma. Long, long time ago. I told you before of my past, how I shunned the man and beast alike for the snow-white fur that marked me as a harbinger of doom. Bereft of family and friendship, of home, I wandered the mountains in search of a place to call my own. 
There, I would accept my fate and await the inevitable. But death did not come, for I was unlike my brothers, in more respects than my fur. With each, with every century, I grew stronger and stranger. Monstrous. Stranger. <laughs> Sorry, that's great. In turn, the few creatures dared traverse my domain withdrew further and further. Never had I been so alone. Then, one day, I awoke to find a man standing before me. Bewildered, I rose and bare my fangs as I roared in rage. Be gone, for I shall rend you asunder and feast on your flesh. What fool has a... Temerity? Temerity. Temerity to approach me thus. But the man did not flee. Yeah, rather. He stood his ground and said, This fool is named Tenzin. And ever since he was a child, he spoke the language of beasts. Then you know full well what you stand to lose. Return to your people or die. But Tenzin threw back his head and laughed. They would kill me if I dared. For fear of my talents, I was banished. A harbinger of doom, they call me. In that instant, all my anger drained away. Tenzin's word had struck at the heart of me. Here was a fellow outcast, cursed by his kin for his very nature. That night, as I listened to him snoring, I realized I had found in this man a kindred spirit. Soon after, we embarked on a journey together. In the days that followed, we met other solitary souls and aided them as we aided each other. But those are tales for another time. I doubt very much you are willing to stand here in silence while I recount my every adventure with Tenzin. Come, let us return to the temple. Genbu is doubtless eager to learn the outcome of our battle. And we're off. They're gonna make us walk. You are all so extra. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, Auric is on the Dark Knight Panther. Floating oh, that's there. the Dark Knight Panther? That, oh, wow. That black and red curl. Oh, that's badass. Yeah, yeah right? Right? Oh, yeah, that's got, that's got some attitude. Teenagers with attitude right there. <laughs> Summon teenagers with attitude. That's cool. Does every class have one? Uh, I don't know. But I'm pouring that to the Ruby Sea. Alright. Oh, we're in a cross-world party, aren't we? Uh we are. What? Oh, yep. they're gonna make us they're gonna make us walk. Okay. Sorry, bud. It's okay. That's rough, buddy. I'll put the bill. I already I'm already there, man. We're in a cross-world party. It didn't it didn't trigger. Oh shoot, I went underwater. I'm gonna have an extra step. I'm underwater as well. I guess I could head out the door. I could head out the swimmy door. I went out the swimmy door. It's yeah, fine. I'll do the swimmy door. It's fine. Yeah, and then you pop up and the volcano's right there. Well, not like right right there, but it's a, close enough. Just tanks. Okay. Uh Crimson Nona. Thank you for the super chat. If you're looking for footage for music, the OST albums have visuals to accompany the music. You could probably source the footage from the community if you don't want to buy the CDs yourself. What do you what do you mean? It's like an old school like CD what do they call it? Like I remember like when you could put the CD the on the computer and it would have video on it? Yeah, yeah. With some of the Limp Bizkit albums had it. Uh one of the Goldfinger albums had like a music video on it. Like, I forget, it had a name. I'm trying to remember. I digress, but is that what you're talking about? The albums are on Blu-ray. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Blu-ray albums. Man, Final Fantasy, just fancy as fuck. Wow. I mean, I have, I have Spotify, but... Anyone remember what they used to call that on CDs? It had a name. It was like CD... 
Plus or CD do you Deluxe remember Fox or something. DVD? I do not remember Fox DVD. Are you ready for Fox DVD? I, I don't remember that. I don't remember that. The worst thing about I Disney Plus is you don't get any features. Well, that's basically stuff like... Well, I guess for the movies, they don't really yeah, do it, right? But, but like for the... the Star Wars shows, they give us the making of for like all the Star Wars shows. That's true. I think you're right. I think it was CD enhanced. I think you're right. I think that's what it was. Enhanced. Yeah, and that's right. Yeah, I'm a really cultured person. I know I, I definitely 100% put my Limp Bizkit CD in the computer and watched whatever was on there. Well, yeah, yeah. You, could put your, you could put your Independence Day DVD in the computer and play that game where you flew around in the jet and shot the alien spacecrafts. I did it at my buddies one time because I didn't have a CD <laughs> 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 They made it look so cool. I had to do it. It, yeah, it was garbage, by the way. It Don't was garbage. Play that game. It was it's horrific. Totally, yeah, it's, it's totally bad. Good. Arngren, thanks for the other, the, yet another super chat. As somebody that's been playing this since a Realm Reborn release, you two make me smile seeing you two enjoying Aorzea. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear. Yeah. It's a good game. It's a damn good game. It's a damn good game. Uh, we're going to talk to, f uh, I'm going to just say furry. furry I'm gonna yep, it's furry. Look at like he's, he's, he's cute. He's cute as hell, though. He's got a little leap on his head. I wanted to explain. Genbuz told me all about you and the thrashing you gave him and the others. Need me to escort you back to the temple? Yes, you Animal Crossing looking motherfucker. It's very cute. So adorable. So adorable. I'm checking in with Fat Cat. <clears throat> uh, last night, Katie saw her first Zeppelin video. Oh? I put on uh, I put on Zeppelin's uh, video of her reacting to the billboard. Oh, sure. And we were, we were cackling like mad, man. If you haven't watched it, it's funny as shit. She makes good stuff. Yeah, it was very, there's a, it, like well, one minute in, she just like loses it and can't keep her composure. And it's really freaking funny. It was so good. That whole billboard thing, man, I think it's hysterical. It was outrageous. Well done, Tuna and Val, well done. You have done, my friend, a great kindness. One we shall s not soon forget. Pardon me, I'm catching up. It's all right. It's all right. Tataru and, and Soraban appear to be doing yoga together. Yeah, they're doing some training. And it's not going well. I'm not sure what's going on, and I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> hmm. I like that option. You want to do it? I, I already clicked on it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho. You needn't be so concerned. You know well the power of the Kojin's incantations, yes? I have but asked Soraban to undergo a little training that he might assist us with the maintenance of the wards. He has demonstrated a remarkable aptitude thus far, in fact. How... How much longer must I continue? Concentrate! Uh? Less chatting, more dancing. <laughs> what youthful energy! It has been far too long since we had the pleasure of such company. Not since Tenzin, I imagine. I've been meaning to ask, what sort of man was Tenzin? We only just learned the stories, and you've already said they were half wrong. Curious, are you? Very good, very good. Far too many people have no interest in the past. What to say, what to say? Well, for one, Tenzin was blessed with the self-same power Tuna and Val possess. The Echo, I believe it is called sometimes? Oh, was the Echo in Final Fantasy XI? Alas, as you probably know from personal experience, such individuals are often regarded with suspicion, if not outright fear. Nevertheless, Tenzin was a generous soul who was ever eager to aid his fellow man. Indeed, he died as he lived, fighting for the sake of those he loved. You see, when he faced Kor... Kor... Uh, Koryu... <laughs> We four lords were still quite young and weak, not even auspices, in truth. 
and we couldn't but look on helplessly as the two dragged one another to the brink of death. With the last of his strength, Tenzin imprisoned the more mortally wounded Koryu. He then bequeathed to us a sacred treasure, a crystal which shone with an otherworldly light. Oh, Sexy Tiger Man. Have I wondered if this crystal was the source of the power we would grow to possess? Would we have become the Four Lords without it? In my heart, I think not. We built this temple to strengthen the wards and safeguard the Ruby Sea in Tenzin's stead. His legacy would be ours, and so it has been to this day. And so it will continue to be, but only if we can rely upon you to quell the Arimatama, uh, quell the Arimatama of our comrades. That can wait, though. Bayako needs his rest, and so do you, Valentuna. In that case, I, it'd probably be best if we went back to Kugane. There's no telling what mischief that man will get up to in my absence. I too should take my leave. Doubtless I am needed in Tamamitsu. Oh ho ho, you're not going anywhere. Your training is far from finished, my friend. But, but, I can't possibly refuse the request of the Four Lords, can I? Oh. I hate to impose upon you, Valentina, but perhaps you could go to Tamamitsu in my stead? It may be some time before I am permitted to return home. All righty then. Go back. John the, th John the Third, thank you for uh, re-upping your membership for two months. Says Woot, finally got to catch you all on live before it ends. Enjoy the rest of the Four Lords. I'll be re-watching the live stream again for reactions. Uh, we really liked it. <laughs> yeah, no, it was badass. It was badass. The next Four Lords, though, it'll be a little bit because Four Lords, what is it? Uh, four Lords, Jade Stoa. Wait, are there only three Four Lords? Well, he explained that he was one of them. Oh, Genbu, right? so we technically already beat one of them. Okay. Did I get that right? Yeah, Genbu is one of the four. Okay, yeah. so the next one will be Hell's Cure. That's out in 4.4. .4, so it'll be a little bit before we get to 4.4 .4, because that's that Oh, interesting. Shadow. I figured we needed to like shotgun all of these. No, no, uh, they're really staggered just, like a lot of other things. Oh, because uh, everyone's like, well, 4.4 .4 and 4.5 is just getting straight into Shadowbringer. So I'm like, why why would we, we be back in the Ruby Sea farting around with, with, with rad animal demigods? Yeah, so I guess we but, come back here. So what she's referring to is she needs to go hang out. Tataro, she needs to go hang out with Hancock because he's about to... This was 4.2. So he's about to... Well, no, I guess he's not doing anything right now, right? 4.2. No, no, we're done with all the yeah. Hancock stuff by 4.2. Okay. He was important in 4.1 and just kind of stood around from there on out. Yeah, 4.2, I think he puts us on the path of Gotsetsu and Yatsu. Because he was involved with, like, getting Lolo Rito yeah, yeah. briefed and shit okay, so in 4.1. Yeah, going to get back and hang out with him. He's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, what's the other? What's we have got some other stuff here. No, no, thank you for the super chat. It's not literally Tenzin from Eleven, just based on. Okay. Yeah, I figured as much, but oh. like, there's so many references, I wouldn't be surprised if the Echo was yeah. another reference. Yeah, um, that's, that's what I was curious about. Yeah, and then Nahul, thank you for the super chat. So fun fact: if you look at Hingashi in the world map, you can see the four lords and the cardinal points. Gonna do this right now. What? Where's Hingashi? Wait, wait, Hingashi. Where's Hingashi. 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 Oh, shit. Oh, we got turtle. Oh, we get to fight a dragon in this? There's a dragon. Oh, is oh, that but that's that sounds cool. cool. I mean, if there uh, is a press, like the tiger, I would assume is the lamest one of these. <clears throat> oh, maybe the turtle. <laughs> but you I'm know. only seeing a turtle and a dragon. I'm not seeing the other two. There's like a phoenix looking a little south. Oh, you really got to get down there. Okay, the tiger is right up against Kugane. Yeah. And where's, do you said there's a phoenix somewhere? Oh, you're actually, uh, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out to the world map. Oh, yeah, the I had zoomed it. in, so you can still see it in, if you go to Hingashi, but I yeah. don't think you can see the phoenix. Yeah, the phoenix isn't there. Maybe the phenix oh, is Oh, that's cool. Hmm. 
That's cool. Well, the Phoenix sure seems like it's the south direction. We would want... That's really... What a what a freaking... What a freaking Easter egg. It's just been there staring us in the eyes the whole time. I'm getting oh, us cool ready for our next dungeon here. Hey, hey, Kyle. Yeah? If you look at Authored on the world map and then go due west, it looks like like snowy mountains. Well, what's that giant worm thing? <laughs> Wait, Authored? What's, what's, oh, oh, you mean a place, not like uh, who wrote it. Authored, okay. Othard. Author? Yeah. Which, and which way? Oh, you mean this giant worm? Yeah, and like, the, is that cool. the, is that where Alphano crash landed? The, all the white, like it looks like soft flats almost, but it's oh, white dunes. Would that be the what burn? What was that called? The burn. The burn, yeah. yeah. Is that the burn? I mean, they're heading to Garlemald, right? Yeah, so that looks like the burn. Yeah, I'm fine if I'm fine for conf confirmation of if that is the burn. If it's something we've seen, uh, I'm fine with confirmation on that, by the way. Oh, that's the burn. Thanks, did Lady Fitchell. Did it uncloud that <laughs> area when we did the Alphano bit? That's pretty cool. I, I honestly have no clue, but uh, something tells me uh, Alphano might try to, uh, that worm is, might try to eat Alphano. Yeah, that's groovy. <clears throat> huh. All right, are we turning this in first? Uh, are we not? Oh, yeah, yeah, we need to finish up. Uh, wait, what do we need to do? Go to, uh, you just teleport to the Turtle Town. Okay, Turtle Town. We got. Dance epidemic tonight. You remember when we used to play that song every time we'd win a game of Hots? I remember. I remember that back in the day. I remember. I mean, we could do it now, but we'd, you know, get demonetized. Yeah, it was a different time on Twitch. We could just play whatever music we wanted. Never get in trouble. Oh, good old Bunchin is back. Bunchin. Hmm. So Sorobon will be staying with Genbu for a time. How wonderful to hear. I have no doubt he will make the most of his most blessed opportunity. Oh, and I have another missive for you. It was delivered personally by an unusual cat. In auspice, I presume. Hmm? The cat? Oh, the fat cat. Maybe. The fat cat. That would kill us five times before we hit the ground. You are welcome to come and go from the temple as you like. For he will remain at his, at his post above ground. You need only seek him out. Someone just threw something on me. <laughs> did you see that? Did I did. that come across on your screen? I should be glad if you take him up on his invitation and look in on Sorabon every now and then. After all, he is in essence our representative there. Have some money and some music. Oh, some music, nice. Well, all right then. Thus concludes the first of the four lords, but do not despair for we are off to the unwanted we got a dungeon. Truth. Yes. We're getting a dungeon. We're going to do a dungeon that we haven't done before. Bonus dungeon, the Fractal Continuum Hard. Fractal Continuum. We got to go to Pilot. Yo, your freaking horn tiger oh, thing here is thing. awesome. Yeah, Pithos. That was great. I've never seen that mount. I also love the hippo mount. Don't let me don't let me make you feel bad there, Nagami. I it, love that hippo the, mount. The hippo mount is what shoots the grenades of colors. Oh, is that what happens? Yeah. Oh, everybody out here just throwing shit with their hippos. I'm guessing that's a um, that's a dragon quest mount or something in the back. Did you get tiny when you got on it? On what? This like weird ghost thing looks very uh, dragon quest. Oh, it does. Yeah, that thing's adorable. I don't know. It seems to scale. Okay, we got to go to Asus you're just really you're just really crammed in there. Uh, we are not. Let's let's drop party and yes, re party. Gonna invite Kyle to party. I'm gonna use my return for discount <clears throat> travel. Oh, thank you. Oh, I won't get it done. Yeah, yeah, because it just, you, you know, it puts bastard. me on the land so that I pay a little less as I fly up to Asla. Where am I going? As a, where's As? Oh, that's 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 Heaven's Ward. Yeah. Out into what was that? Was that um? Uh, Curthus, I believe. Fine. No, fine. must be. Fine. And then to Helix. On my way guy. for 923 gil while my buddy gets a cheaper one. <laughs> All 
All right. Uh, what was the name of the quest? The quest was named the un an unwanted truth. Unwanted truth. Is it on the map? I don't see an unwanted truth on the map. I don't see a blue quest, period. Well, that's the location of Pyla. Let's see. Speak with <clears throat> Pyla as his law at the Matter Conductor 6 7. Hmm. Matter Conductor. Wait. Rauger's Reach? Okay, he might be kicking in Ralgar's Reach. I'm going to go check there. Oh, okay. Child got me porting places. And... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pay. I'll pay. Blank, thank you for the super chat. Reminder, do blue quests in the fringes before 4.4. Will do. It is on the list of things. Well, that ought to be a plan. All right, the unwanted truth. There it is. Ah, it's right there. Right freaking there. Perfection. Excuse me, sir. You're Val and Tuna, right? The name's Filiot. Newly joined the Garland Iron Phil. Orcs. My good buddy, Phil. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I hate to be a bother, but I've got somewhere I'd like you to, to take you. Wedge told me he once asked you to peek inside the fractal continuum. Is that right? Well, the thing is, we recently detected a strange signal coming from inside. Knowing our luck, it's likely some ancient Allegan weapon running amok. But we won't know for sure until someone goes in and finds out. We were hoping that someone be you, uh, if you're up to the job. Oh, thank gods. I'll see you in Azaslaw then. Back we go. All right. And off he went. The Helix. Enjoy the discount Two travel. Helix. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know, I'm just razzing you, right? You don't have to pay for all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know, I know, man. I don't mind. <laughs> I mean, also, I'm horrible with MMO money, so, you know, I, I don't mind, but I, because I don't keep track. <laughs> One day, Kyle's going to be like, I'm broke. I, I, that could very well happen. I am not good at making money in MMOs normally. I mean, who knows? Final Fantasy, I might find a, a hobby I enjoy that makes fun. Oh, oh, I haven't been here in a while. It is quite the sight. It is a pile of graphics. Yeah, this place is insane. Did it change? I mean, I, I haven't been here a long time, but would this place have upgraded because we're now in PS4? I can't. No, be this looks the same to me. Okay, it looks the same. Huh. Oh, the, 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 the glowy bits out here, it, it suffers from the, my my critique of of like early realm were born like all the glowy crystals and stuff like the glows like they just look the same no matter the distance so for me i think some of this older glow tech kind of ruins like the the sense of scale in some of these zones okay okay so everything looks too perfect oh i did not need to come up here <laughs> i went up to the floating thing where we did the warring try oh sure yeah that was a cool place just, just assumed we had to go there no we didn't fly much here in fact we just kind of I assume this is all like an end game. What? There's a there's a triple triad match. What? What? There's a triple, a triple triad, triad match. by yeah. the warring triad. An idle imperial wants to play cards with me. I'll I'll catch you later. I can't wait to see the lighting update. Yeah, that's gonna be really fun. Super. I'm all about it. All about that shiz. My call to, I've got a lot of those guys already that won't give up the card. What's up, Phil? Let's go, Phil. Hey, uh, Philly. Take, oh, no, you're doing Phil. <clears throat> All right. Time to take a look at the teleporter. What in the blazes? Access restricted. This isn't good. Someone's already triggered the intruder defense system. Okay. The only way in now would be aboard an airship, but that would mean piloting the Enterprise. Bloody hells, how am I supposed to? <laughs> wow, I, 
didn't... Did you hear that? Did you? You deserve better from the Ironworks. But the truth is, I'm just a simple man from Broom. Meant for simple tasks. This is beyond me. Oh, he's from the Broom. With you here, though, I suppose things will work out, right? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like the second option. I, I, I kind of, yeah, it's funny. I'll do the first one. You can do the second. We can see what the difference is. Okay. Leave everything to me. All right, tell me what he says. All right, I said I'm worried too. Here we go. He's reacting. He seems a little scared. You're only saying that to make me feel better. Well, it worked. Thank you. And what does he say to you? Because uh, you're a saint, truly. Suddenly, I'm not so nervous anymore. Oh, oh. So you're a terrible person, Kyle. Now then, as you might have overheard a moment ago, the teleporter's been locked. Someone's seems someone beat us here and activated the defense system. It's nothing the Enterprise can't handle, though. Once we've locked in the signal, we can fly straight to source in the blink of an eye. We'll depart as soon as you're ready. Are you going to go hijack the Enterprise? I mean, I guess it's part of the... It's, it's right there to the right. Oh, okay. That's what he came in? Uh, that would make sense. Maybe. But then if he came here, why is he worried about flying it? I don't know. Maybe uh, because he has I'm, to use the special features on it. I'm a bit confused. Oh, I can't, I can't just go on it. Damn it. Oh, does he not want to? Oh, I guess I guess we're not taking it there. Yeah, maybe he'll meet yeah, us no, there. We're, we're flying up over here our, our, our <laughs> own selves. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear a cat, man. Hey, I'm a dog right now. Yeah, but you bit a cat. I just have to listen to yeah, all the time I have, while you're running around in your barista uniform. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You do have to deal with quite a bit with me. <laughs> I'm a burden. Oh, hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. How are you all doing? What? What are? What are you on? It looks like a Hearthstone card mount. What is that thing? Wait, which thing? Where are you looking? Uh, let's see. Oh, Click that. Yeah, on that's, name. that's that thing's all really right. hard. I think you have to beat all the triple triads to get that, as well as a bunch of other achievements. Uh, yeah, oh, here, there's that. um, <laughs> there uh, blah, 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 uh S S Sable, Sybil. It's flying around with a dress. You see how the dress kind of folds out in the back? That's wonderful. Oh, that is cool. Yeah. What a what a nice touch. Those are rad mounts, y'all. Yeah. Oh my god, the Cerberus, the Cerberus ass mount, man. I still think back to that first impromptu meetup we had in the game where everyone showed up while we were just doing rando dungeons. That was super cool. Outside of the Tonberry dungeon, everyone just showing off oh. their mounts. I saw, I saw so much cool shit that day for the first time. There's a baby in that egg. There's a baby in an egg. Yeah, this golden egg up to your left. It, it tweaks. Up, up to my, pops up out a baby. To my le is it flying? Where, where? Yeah, it's up. It's up above. Up like, above. Up. Up here. Oh my god. Wait, how about? Oh. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And it pops out. Oh a baby. yeah, little little baby chocobo. Look at that. It's adorable. All right. Enter the fight. Oh, I, we could have just done this in a in a in a duty finder. Okay, and we're gonna do a party finder. And let me change the code up. No restriction this time. First come, first serve. You do you. And this is gonna be for dungeons, and it's gonna be for practical continuum hard. We're gonna hit recruit, and I'm gonna post a new code in party password. I'm making my way there now. I'm hovering, I'm pasting, I'm hitting enter. All right. And I, as always, we encourage everyone else, form your own parties and see if you can beat us to the other side. Excellent. Not that it's a race. Enjoy yourself. Uh, we, we got a nice balanced group there. We got Sage, we got Black Mage looking good. Hell yeah. Fracture continuum hard. Minimum my level is still on joining. Yeah. Let's do this shiz. Kyle, I sent you a Discord message. Oh, okay. No pressure. Yeah, sounds good. Cool. This is quite the entrance. Yeah. Oh, wow. Like Robo Minotaur. This is a very dramatic entrance for a hard. Yeah. Not that the hearts have like, ever been low effort or anything. I really want to go see that new Thor, and this mission makes me want to go see him more. This is like 80s metal ridiculousness. I love it. There's a giant. What are you looking space. at over there? 
It is a, oh, it is a giant dead sphinx. Yeah. Oh, that face is really creepy looking. Yeah, that, that looks like the final boss we fought, but... Yeah, Mike One, thank you for the super chat. FYI, if you did the Ixel tribe quest from A Realm Were Born, this dungeon lore hits extra hard. I did not. No, no. Good to know. Look at these. Look at these Protoss looking mofos. Yeah, they do look nice. Was it the final boss, but we fought it on like its own platform. So did they move yeah. the body? Are they just moving shit around? I mean, I, it's a construct, right? Maybe they're like harvesting parts. Someone asked earlier what would be at the top of our wall of music right now. Oh, uh, metal, probably. I really like that song. Oh, from uh, Alexander. Yeah, metal or. Uh, I still really like Garuda's theme, man. I'd fight pretty hard for uh, something Titan related. I, I really like weight of his word and stuff like that. Mm. But I think that's more nostalgia, as, as short as nostalgia can be for playing this game for a year serious. Whoa, that that knocked me back far. Right, it's probably an invisible wall. I probably can't find up, fall off. Right, right. Famous last words. I could be wrong, Kyle. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, oh, why can't I, can I move? Why can't I move? What's going on there? I like the enhanced Minotaur. Yeah, he uh, nutty looking. Can't say because spoiler. Oh, for your oh, answer yeah, yeah. for the best music. Uh, well, that's what we heard during the housing tour we did was I had to mute music because so many people like Endwalker music. Mm. Oh, these guys are great. Look at all the techno beasts we get to fight in here. That's how... Are they serious? Like, is it really this much effort for a hard that they redid all these models with a bunch of techno bits? Sure looks like... And the, the, the Predator, like, doesn't look familiar to me. Like, I don't, I don't recall this model. I think it may have been running around in that spawn area of the... Ethereochemical research facility. Hmm. But either way, these uh, Chimera look great. Yeah, maybe new, not new model, a reskin for sure, but still, really solid looking. Yeah, I mean, just the reskins are, are super high effort. Like, it really spices things up, <laughs> visually. <laughs> if you haven't played World of Warcraft, maybe you don't understand what we're talking about, but things tend to get to just dyed blue over there. <laughs> Now He's you face not wrong. a green I really look. like how WoW looks, but he is not wrong. All right, we're going to fight a, a, a oh. stick. We're going to fight a stick of ram, A mother bit, yeah. You ready? Eagle, thank you for the super chat. When in doubt, elegance. <laughs> True. <laughs> I like that. It's a tombstone, it yeah. Turn? It turns. Knock the tombstones out of it. <laughs> What? What about the tombstones? It looks like a tombstone. Oh, I guess it does, doesn't it? Oh, is this? Oh, oh, oh! I see what you're doing. Yeah, yeah they're not targetable. Yeah, they're setting up graphics. Yep. That hurt a lot. Oh, it exploded late. Oh, my. Uh, what is that? I'm walking away from that. I don't know what that is, but I'm does giving it, it a wider? break is what I'm doing. Is it going to do? Oh. Oh. Oh, shoot. The direction they were facing. Yeah. We got lucky there. Yeah, they are directional. I did not I did not pick up on that. I we, guess they do have barrels sticking out the front. We are healerless. 
So use bombs wisely. E everything you've got, man. Use bombs wisely, is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> You're so pleased with yourself. <laughs> Holy shite. Oh, I'm in trouble. Yep. They, that, that, they hit like trucks. Oh, oh I forgot. God. Nah, no worries, Yumi. Not my first time being a corpse. Seems like it's mad at, yeah, was mad at the black mage before me, so. Is got, your, it's just you, Kyle. I'm working Whatever on it. you got left. I believe in you. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. No, oh, oh, 4%. Good try. Oh, close. Good try. Yeah, first wipe in a long time indeed. Yep. Uh, third eye did all it could there. <laughs> I used it. I used it. You saw it. I oh, could fast travel or did I miss it? Oh, I don't know. I started running. I'm already invested. Tomes don't farts you. you. That's true. It is hard. This is a, a very hard dungeon. Hey, a hard mode that's hard. It's very hard. You only get fast travel if you kill the boss. Oh, interesting. Also, okay. I also used arm's length, which doesn't work on bosses, but you know, I press the button. I'm glad that you did something that's not useful. You get, you get points for doing it. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. We've seen the fight. Yep. No mystery. Now we know about left. direction. So after all that, they 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 blast me, and it hurts. I rolled uh, mitigation better that time, though, so. Oh, like as in a tank kind of bust thing? Yeah, it feel it, it honestly, it, it feels like a tank bust. I've been doing a little bit of tanking again. And... Oh, I'm on the wrong side. No! Oh, can you not get out? No, it, it, Use oh, your oh, my, oh, nope. It puts me back. Wait. They tried to save me and it, 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 it like snapshots you and keeps you over there. But why didn't you die? Uh, I, well, I popped living dead. And I don't, so I'm assuming that helped. Also, our healer could just be a god. I'm yeah. not sure. Yumi, Yumi might just be amazing. I saw you kind of like bounce off the wall there. So Yumi tried to grab me back, but it sent me back to the side I got right. stuck on. So you can't cheat it like that, apparently. Holy shite. Here we go again. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Yeah. He's down. Woo! He just falls down. <laughs> oh, that's a fight. Yeah. Wow. That's a fight. All the funny bits moved in and we're just going to teleport out of here. Oh, hey, bracelets. I will take those. Well, before you got trapped on the other side of the laser there, I was going to compliment your tanking skills. <laughs> oh, ooh. ooh, look at the emergency lights going Damn. in here. I live for Kyle Kudos. Dude, seriously, I've been tanking a little bit, and you're a really good tank. I appreciate all you do. Oh, thanks, man. Tell it to the YouTube comments. 
If you, you get backseated a lot on stream, I get backseated all the time on YouTube. <laughs> That's, I guess I didn't really think about it. Yeah, because uh, your footage goes in the video. So after the stream, I'm scot free. <laughs> Most people are being helpful. Down they go. This is cool with the lights in here. There's yeah. so much going on. My God, I oh, feel like very, I'm tripping very out. Very handsome. Oops. Oh well, yeah. Man, this is fine. I like small pulls because that's a lot of shit over there. There's a lot of stuff over there for sure. Well, thanks for the compliments, everybody. I appreciate it. I, ju I just like tanking. It's my happy place. I can't wait to tank and like actually know what I'm doing. Like, like tank something more than once and know yeah. the mechanics. <laughs> I look forward to that too, like getting a level of expertise. It's fun changing up jobs and really seeing a lot of the game, but I am curious to know what optimization looks like. Discord was telling yeah. me about mana ticks and server stuff so like yesterday. You get pretty intense. Squawk, squawk, how is this possible? Strawberry resembles the Ixal, the feathered one does. Oh, interesting. Oh, there's Ixal just hanging out in here. Yeah. Doing, doing shit they shouldn't be doing. Oh, we got, oh, look at these things. We got like mantis monsters. The Shit's emergency cool. lighting in here is really cool. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. Oh, standing in the shadow shouldn't be standing. Oh, what are you? What is uh, he? He he was a late joiner. He was oh, a okay. pat. He's a ring calls. Late bloomer. Oh, treasure Crawford on the right. Yeah. So, uh, tap that while I leap. Got some rings. But I, I think I've gotten all my gear to 400, so I'm ready to start gearing up alts. I'm all geared nice. up. All geared up and nowhere to go. All geared up and nowhere to grind. Yeah. Time to start working Talk on those alts. Yeah. What do we got here? What do we have? A hole. You got a hole. I'm going to need that. I already possess one. Never mind. Down the hole. Oh, look Ooh, at this. Nice. We got a ho creepy holograms. Oh, what are you? This reminds me of uh, the, like the Draenei. The Draenei ship. They had all the... Oh, it is the Warring Triad. Shy. Look at that. The Ultima Warrior. All right. It's... Uh... It's an uwu, Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Hey, Kyle, did you know that uwu stands for ultimate weapon ultimate? I do now. But I didn't know till what was it, last stream, that it had so much significance. Oh, same. Yeah. We got so many com uh, comments, though, on the, on, the, with the on the video, which I don't mind, honestly. Having a lot of comments is good for us. Oh, he's eating... Eating souls or something? So he's gonna, he's gonna like have power from the from yeah. the one triad. Oops. Cerulean vent. I don't know. I'm gonna plop blackest night and hope for the best. Oh, what 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 is this? Uh, bomb. Oh, do we, do we stand yeah. in that? I'm gonna, uh, oh, uh, uh, uh. I don't know. Seems like a thing I should stand in. Well. We're, we're okay for now. Stack, 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 stack. I, oh, wait, oh, no. Uh, so just you and me. Died, yeah. Something bad happened. That's not me playing Something the healer. Bad. We all died so very soon Th after that. This appears to have uh, important mechanics. Yes. Every fight appears to have important mechanics. There were meteors. <clears throat> tiny ones. Which, to be fair, they were tiny. 
So someone said elemental debuffs got a match or not match. I forget. Oh, the, oh, geez. That is how it goes, right? Match or not match. That's always the question. Okay. We get that it's a debuff, but do we match it or do we do the opposite? We're fine now. We, we, we'll read. We'll read. We'll read. Reading don't, doesn't tell you yeah, if but they, it's they don't know. Don't trust chat. They have different answers already. They don't know what's going on. <laughs> Red and red, blue and blue. I, I'm gonna just go with that. Okay. Honestly, whatever that boss was in, what was that that castrum we ran with the motorcycle people? That weird big blue guy. He was uh, the worst mechanic uh, boss in this game so far. I don't remember. He's at the bottom remember. of big my tier guy. list. Big blue. What did he do? He was like a weird clown or something. He he did a bunch of like positive, negative, red, blue stuff, and he was a mess. Oh, I didn't. I don't think I had to worry about that as the tank, which was wonderful. Yeah, it was a Banya. Yeah, yeah, Castro Mabanya. Ah, uh, okay. That was one of those ones that fell the shit out my brain the second we were done with not, it. Not the clown. He looked like a clown, but he's not the clown. Not from Omega. Yeah, no, no, not Kafka. Not yeah, Kafka. Yeah. No, we remember Kafka. <sighs> okay. So, gotta look at. With the powers of reading. Wondrous. Blackest Knight is one of the most satisfying tag mechanics I've ever experienced. Ooh, no, okay. Okay. All right. So what's this? Where's where's the debuff? Anyway, right, well, he's doing the the minivan. He's summoning minivan. It didn't knock us back that time? Infinite fire. Oh, it's a really event. This is the knockback. There it is. And I've got blue. All right. So go into blue. And if I die, I blame chat. <laughs> Hold chat accountable if I die. Okay. I'm on. Chat it. didn't lie to me. Yeah, we did stack, great. Stack, nice stack, job, stack, everybody. stack. I brought stacks. Citadel Buster. Probably don't want to stand in that direction. That was a straight up Kamehameha and I love it. Yeah, I like that that's a visual and not a ground effect. Mm. I like how Stormblood buried that up. He is really cool. Like he is, he looks like an action figure I would have loved at the age of 13. Mm, yep. He is badass. I would buy a, a, an overpriced statue of this and put it on my, my shelf right now. I don't now. know, man. Some of those overpriced statues for Final Fantasy XIV are a little expensive. I'm not talking about the Tifa one, man. <laughs> oh, wait. There's the Magitech one. No, I there's the Magitech one. one. There's uh, that, that doll of Yishtola. That one thing was pretty pricey. Oh, shite. Do those leave things oh, behind? Yeah, they, they, they do. That seems bad. I have to. Mobby. No, you know, no one has to stay in there. It's fine. Yeah, but I don't want to face him towards you guys. Stack Arena. Oh, nope. Oh, he did. He was bad. GG. Looking. Hey, Kyle, did you know hard modes are sometimes hard? Sometimes, right? Oh, that's a good hat. That is a nice hat. Oh, wow. Look at that hat. Look at this door. Dude. This door is beautiful. Oh, I can't roll neat on that hat. Oh, it's not for samurai. Yeah, it should be. Look at that thing. Look at this effing door, man. Gorgeous door. Dude, that door looks just like the low graphics Halo doors. Oh, F you. What? No, I'm great. serious. The, the, looks dude, great. Dude, low graphics, non-updated Halo 1 was the better looking Halo. Looks, I, I don't mind the redo, but yeah, if I had to have one, I would take OG graphics. Like I'll give you that. Visual clarity. <laughs> I thought you were insulting the door. No, no, I was complimenting the door. All that all that weird Halo stuff looked good. It was door compliments. Look at these goobers. Literally goobers. Oh yeah. I don't I don't I don't kid when I when I mention no, yeah, goobers. You, you don't mess around when it's goober time. I'm a goober enthusiast. 
Oh, God, look that, at the, the whole chimera around that corner. Oh, oh, Jesus. Hi, buddy. I was looking at the bun. Look at the bundles of wires in the main room. Yeah, this this we have, we are suddenly in Halo. Like what what's going on here? Where's Cortana? Dayka, thank you for the super chat. Two words for you, Kyle. Bump map. Bump mapping. Ryan and think of it super jet square has some pretty pricey things the most expensive thing i've seen in final is a final fantasy 6 statue at 13000 jesus oh dude they broke out of their cells that's badass he's pissed also thank you for the super chats that's what i've been reading everything i just read for super chat oh god it's things so bad I pop that. Oh well. He's not gonna trigger my black my black this night. I mean, if free-to-play games have shown anything, like you might as well have a price tag for people who can spend that. Yeah. It's a good business practice. Oh, dude, do you see this thing being like operated on in the other room? Hmm. Look at look through this window. Oh, cool. This is gross. Dude, they've really evolved this past the museum. Yeah, uh, to like full blown mad scientist room. Yeah, this is wild. Are those others gonna do something? The fit oh, and finish on this game is so impressive. And just for like some optional content. I mean, I, I guess I'm not sure what level maybe gear this dropped back in the day, if this was a good place to get geared up, how required this may have been if you were progression rating. Yeah. Dino, music, thank you for the super chat. It's impressive that Final Fantasy XIV artists can make a dungeon feel so massive when it's mostly corridors. Yeah. That's a good Yeah, now yeah. they really sell it. Dude, look at that Mon Minotaur. He's cracking the yeah, glass. Yeah, he looks good. Is he, he going to break out? I assume so. The door's not open, right? Or is he? Oh, okay. okay. He I, think, I think that's. I think it's set dressing. Oh, dude, he's just. Oh, my yeah, he's just God, like haunting man and shit. Oh, yeah, animation. that's great. He's just, he's just decor. Uh, maybe. He's going to come over here now, dude. There we go. Is, that's the same cell. I'm giddy about that. Yeah. That's cute. Shakes the screen every time he hits. He appears to have calmed down. Nope, oh, he's still, he's still, still working on for it. it. You want to go? Let's go. Oh, oh, oh God. He oh, the out. fake out. That was great. Classic haunted house maneuver there. Yep. IO manufactured Minotaur. God, this is, this is cool. Look at all the, the blood. The, the, the first the first portion I was like, eh, I've seen this before. Oh dude, I love that the did you see these panels up? I love that they're all a portal where it felt like you could kind of go exploring. Oh, sorry. That's all good. I was looking at floor panels. I'll see if I can backtrack after what this. What do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, the slow door. That was uh -huh. like a behemoth model. <laughs> Someone check that thing for roids. Wow. We need to do a drug test on that thing. Whatever it is. Jeez. Oh, what a model. All right. Sorry. What were you talking about? Oh, I just love this in like portal where the panels are up and you get to see some of the wiring underneath. Oh, yeah. Where it just really sells scale yeah. and infers. Yeah, I, I love. There's just, there's a promise of an open door, right? It's oh, look, just... look at all this, like, random bullshit going on below us. <laughs> I mean, it's it just like in first, it's like, I bet there's a monster in each and every one of those things. Yeah. My God, the scale of this, it's impossible for me to comprehend. 
All right. I'm sure this is going to have something that we don't understand that's going to kill us. Are you ready, Kyle? No, let's do it. If we don't die, I'll be disappointed. Let's die, buddy. Let's die. Live gloriously. The song's playing. I never thought I'd die if I did die at the sight of fighting alongside an elf. That is true. I am an elf. That's why I made the and joke. You're, you're my friend. Oh. What, what are you doing? What's he doing? I don't oh, he's know. standing up. I, I want to kind of get away from it. Oh no, he was just—he was just popping the room. Big old roar attack. Okay. Yeah. All right, I see a roar attack. He was just giving the healer something to do. <laughs> Doesn't want the healer to feel left out. Yeah. Allegan gravity. Oh, interesting. Well, so kind of spread away, but also don't. Oh. Okay. All right. So we just don't want to overlap. Yeah. Is all. Light pillar. What is that? Uh, he's shooting mini missiles by the look of it, and they have oh oh travel oh. trajectories. Yeah, I got hurt a little bit. I got cooked back there, but I'm okay. <laughs> Get out of there, Wedge. You can't do any more. Good back there. We'll always have Wedge and Tillies. Or as my Rogue Squadron obsessed friend likes to call him, Weege. Oh, really? We always call yeah. them Wedge Titties. Wedge <laughs> I thought that was what you were going for. No, no, never called Wedge Wedge Titties. Oh, here we go. Just get away from me. Oh. Oh, he, like, he shot all the mini balls. Now, when I was a kid, uh, Wedge was always one of my favorites. I thought he was like a total badass. Because he was. Flare Star. Oh, what's over there doing a run it like get like a distance a distance AoE. Oh shoot. Oh, I'm shoot. gonna explode. I'm, I'm a little confused. Get away from me. I'm a little confused. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to hit that. Oop. Gathering energy. I'm a charge of my laser. A meme for the older individuals in the room. Let us take you back. To a simpler time. What does that mean? Oh, I see. I, where do I, I don't, I can't tell where the light pillars are gonna start and then go. What's the tell on that? Uh, so it's where it originally lands, the symbol shows where it's gonna radiate out to. Uh, this is, I think this is a DPS check. It is time to go. Look how slow that's charging. Yeah, that seems to be a behemoth classic. Woo! My rafflecopter goes swa, 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 swa. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, minimum my level, no limit breaks. You know what I mean. Hey, we got through a single fight in here without dying. That's true. I'm disappointed. <laughs> You're disappointed. Well, this is the worst dungeon I've ever been in. <laughs> yeah, dude, no, actually, I mean, this is honestly one more. And then we just roll back us ooing and awing yeah. <laughs> through this entire run. <laughs> it was really cool. This I, was, yeah, this was a hell of a dungeon. I like that a lot. That first portion, I was like, eh. I've seen I've seen enough elegant sphere rooms, and then it just goes, huh. man. That just was one, goes. That was four point two. It's not like they weren't busy when they made this. <laughs> oh god, this game is insane. Interesting. So we still have, but these are four point three dungeons: the Swallow's Compass and Saint, remember, the Arboreto Hard. The okay, Arborito Heart. So that's what we got left? Yeah. But we can't do them because they're part of another patch. Okay. Okay. I see how it is. Yeah. I see how it is. But thank goodness well, GG this dark place of mad experiments had Farlander's Bottoms of Casting available. <laughs> Swallow's Compass is incredible. -er. Wait, hang on. Wait, hang on. Hang on. What? We finished 4.3 ahead of schedule. 
Yeah. We did? We might be able to go. I mean, if you want to. Yeah, the, actually, that was part of four. Do you want to go to the Swallower's Compass? Oh, <laughs> uh... <laughs> that's a... You are five years old. The Swallow's Compass. <laughs> I feel inappropriate just laughing at that. I feel bad. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. You... 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 <laughs> somehow made it worse. <laughs> Holy shit, man. That's that's good. <laughs> Alright, we gotta we gotta go turn this in. Let's go back to Master Conduit. Uh, yeah, where are we is there a quick there's not a quick way. Or matter I'm conduit. flying. I'm flying over on yeah. my fart troll. This thing is so cool, I love this mount. Federico says, I'm still giggling over Disciple of the Hand, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I wish I could say that that was scripted, but we're not that funny. No, no. <laughs> it was a real moment. Kyle killed me. Not that All of the actor. laughing, by the way, I did the cuts just to get rid of, like, my breasts in between the laughing. All of that laughing, none of it's repeated. That is actually how long I laughed after that joke. Well, it wasn't a joke. After that yeah. gaff, I guess you would call it. Dude, that was... The funniest shit you've ever said in one of our videos. Bye, hello. How are we in one piece? At least we know for certain elegant weapons were the source of the signal. But why would they need an ultimate weapon prototype in there? On second thought, I'd rather not know the answer to that. Oh, it's it's Squawkers. I presume Squawkers. he was the only one. He was the only. Oh. Wait. I presume he was the one who woke the bloody thing up. I tried talking to him, but he's only got sullen silence for my troubles. Oh, interesting. So if you did the, the Beast Tribe quest, you probably know why he went there, and it was probably to get, like, light powers or something. On the bright side, huh. the teleporter should be functional now. That's assuming, of course, that there's no one else lurking about. Mystery. Well, would you look at that? Up and operational. <laughs> but how do you think that Exhale reached Azizla in the first place? There's no way their balloons can reach these altitudes. Unless the rumors are true, they say a group of Exhale. Isale? Exhale? In the North Shroud, called themselves the Ak Ixel. Axel Nine, and been working on some sort of hybrid airship. How about we go and pay them a visit, eh? The last thing we need is for one of them to come back here and wake up another Alien's delightful toys. <laughs> Where does he get all those wonderful toys? Want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Hmm. Oh, this is, this is kind of a big quest. All right, I'm teleports. Still going, huh? Just a hand in for like a pittance of of gill, a gill pittance. Oh. It Oh. Sorkarto, thank you for the super chat. Those creatures have been trapped there since the third astral era. Of course they're pissed. I can Sorry, see I think that was sitting there for a little bit. The, Apologies. Yeah, no, sorry. We got, we got, I think that happened right before the boss battle, so we got a little uh, preoccupied got a little there. Apologies on the delay on that, but... Oh, uh, where am I going? I'm going this way. I, th I always think of... Uh, the episode of Aqua Teen, where it's just Carl's head, and they keep trying different bodies. Yeah, and, and I always up. think of that quote from Master Shake. It's just like, "Okay, but can he see us? Because if I woke up looking like that, I would just run towards the nearest living thing and kill it." I think of that quote all the time. It's a good quote. Constantly. There you are. All right. Well, come on then. Let's go and have a word with the. Someone just put it in the chat here. How do you say this thing? It's Ixel. 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 It's the Ixel. 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 Like pixel. pixel. Like pixel. Pixel. Ixel. The Ixel pixel. The Ixel pixel. 
No, I want sprite based Ixel. I'm sure they the Ixel had to show up in an old Probably. sprite based Final Fantasy, right? <laughs> Looks seems, so goofy with those helmets. Seems I was right. That's him over there, getting an earful from his superiors, no doubt. <laughs> Take com on complete ship without permission, he did. Banish you from the Ankal Nine, I should. Forgive you this once I will, but tell me, Kizul, did you find Ayatlan? Well, say something. Ayatlan? Is not some uh, fairy tale island uh, the Ixul are said to have come from? Of course. That's why they've been building the airship. Oh, people are saying that they are fairly certain the XL are wholly unique to Final Fantasy XIV. Hmm. <laughs> cool. Pardon the intrusion. <laughs> Might I have a word with Kazal? What's this? Featherless ones, what business have you with the Ekatel Nine? Look with them in the fractal continuum, I did. In Azus Law. Azus Law, why would you go back? Lined with tubes, the walls were. Filled with all manner of chimerical creations. In the last of the chambers, a terrible sight. I saw it. It it looked like us, Sizul. Named Exalion, it was. To serve the elegance they were made, developed from an airborne division. For an airborne division. Obey any order, they will. So we got clone troopers. Hmm. That sounds an awful lot like you, Ixel, doesn't it? They say the wind risen up in Korthas followed their superior commands with frightened obedience. Little wonder why you all left to make your own tribe. Much the same it sounds, but end there, the similarities do not. Weak to the elements, the Ixalian were, and riddled with genetic instabilities. Does that not strike you as familiar? Unfit for the forest, unfit to fly, an abomination we are, a failed experiment of the Allegans. If I Ayatlan exists, in a test tube it lies. Wah, wah, silence! <laughs> If Ayatlan is the damnable laboratory of Allegans, then seek paradise elsewhere we must. My desire to fly, to find our home in the sky created by science, these are not. Can we not aspire to greatness? After all, mid's dream we were not. <laughs> Speak of this again, you will not understand. None will deny the Ixal's ambitions, not even you. <laughs> Forgive me, I, I was wrong. Our paradise, Ayatlan. Find it in Azisla, I did not. But someday I will, together with the Ikatal Nine. Well, <laughs> it looks like you've already resolved the matter we came here to discuss. Uh, you won't be returned to Asla, I take it? Never. Even at the threat of death, return there. I will not. We will not. Squawk! Enough talking, Hazard. Prepare yourself for stealing our airship. A more severe punishment you will receive. But, but that's all. <laughs> no, I don't feel bad for these guys. Yeah, I feel very intrusive in this moment. Yeah. I can see where this would be really cool if you did their quest back yeah. in Realm Reborn. Yeah, you get to know all their stuff and be the big And Phil is just a chatty Cathy. He's got a lot to say. Everything's settled then, eh? And wouldn't... And 
Who would have thought the Ixel actually came from Azizlav? I have lost all my feathers after hearing news like that. But they've chosen to keep a stiff upper lip or beak, I suppose. And here I am being hard on myself for my upbringing in the broom. Piss all compared to their hardship. If they won't give up on their dreams, then I won't on mine. Looks like I've got my work cut out for me if, I, if I'm to be even half the engineer Sid is. Thank you, Val and Tuna, for everything. And then he runs off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have a dissenter, perhaps. Kai shows up and says, oh, God. Doing those quests were horrible. <laughs> <laughs> What's the, okay. All right. I, I don't have a good frame of reference. From the outside, mm. they sounded very grindy. That's why I've never pursued any beast tribes yet. But we've also had Same. so much to do in this game. It hasn't really come up on my radar much. Yeah. I'm tempted to do the Namatsu just because I find them so amusing. Yeah. There was another one. Who was the other beast tribe I really liked? Uh. Those are kind of goofy. Oh, the, are the Col Yeah, would that be it? The kobolds and the goblins? Would they be beast tribes? Yeah. They seem kind of outside of it because they're. I remember the goblins. I can't remember the kobolds, but I'm sure there's a kobold beast tribe. There has to be. I oh, you know who it was that I felt kind of like bad for was the 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 fishman. I think I actually went and started theirs. I, 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 I did like the very first quest and that was it, but. Kobolds, not goblins. Okay. I thought there was a goblin beast tribe. Ah, I I have maybe be goblins aren't technically of the beast tribes because they're all techno, technoed up. They're more of a Oh, faction. that's fair. That's fair. Arngrin, thank you for the super chat. Bagu equals kobold. <laughs> Bagu or Gabu? Wait. Gabu was a kobold. Yes, yes. They were a kobold. Yeah. Goblins were the <laughs> ridiculous part of Alexander. Exactly. Just farting around on my goblin. Or not my goblin, my troll. Goblins were Alexander and Titan. Yes, 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 yes. Goblins are evil goblins. Five tribes, wow. There was so much content in Realm Reborn. I know that some of it may be considered filler, but they made sure that game had stuff to do. Yeah. I know it also well, took they, I mean, longer they... for Heavens War to come out. Yeah, well, they, they I mean, they weren't gonna... The, the whole point was to correct the issues of the original release. Yeah. And uh, they definitely swung for the fences on it. Mesa Base, thank you for the super chat. Namatsu Quest, that's a great name, by the way. <laughs> Namatsu Quest aren't just great for their music, Mountain Minions. It's genuinely hilarious. Good to know. It's the one I'm the most interested in, for sure. I really like those little fish dudes. They're, they're ridiculous. I love them. So Hagen one is lovely. It had, it had a great fondness for the main guy at the end. Interesting. Jaria, a Realm Reborn tribe quest had Ixel, Kobold, Sahagen, Pixies, and Amalja. Sahagen, that was the fishman you're thinking of. Yeah. Were they called Pixies? I don't remember that. Pixies? It's, it's uh, the Sylphs, right? Yeah. Oh, people are saying. Oh, sucks. okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, very pixie-like. I call them the plant people. I'm old grandma plant lady. I'm curious if uh, what it what what's the job? I guess I wouldn't have it here because it's a evolved job or whatever you would call it. But I'm curious to see how that healer plays the scholar. Yeah, because I'm not much for the theme, but. I'd be interested to see the rest of it. I hear the lore is really good too, particularly if you're interested in Tonberries, hmm. which I am. Yeah. I try, I fired very up Sage ever so briefly. It's very laser heavy and it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. Yeah. Gabriel, thank you for the super chat. So if you guys didn't catch it, the Ixalian were part of the Garuda Airborne Division. I did not catch that. Wait, Garuda Airborne Division? 
I'm not sure I knew Garuda had an airborne division. I guess that explains all their balloons and shiz, right? Yeah, wait, Garuda's airborne division. Of the Alligans? Gotcha. That's why I'm enjoying the Thaumaturge and stuff. It's cool to learn about Void Sen and stuff. Garuda mm. was an Alligan naval commander. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. I need to Alligans brush are known up on for my... enslaving primals. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I need, I need to, uh... Yeah, I need to brush up on my Garuda lore. I, well, that's a, sorry, I, I, I have uh, the YouTube dashboard open, Kyle, and it's telling me our bit rate is higher than recommended, which I find a hilarious oh, message. I didn't realize that we were streaming <laughs> at such ridiculous quality. Your bit rate is too high, Kyle. Oh, I should lower that. The bit rate is too damn high. Huh. Does it say what number I should be streaming at? Uh, I closed it already. Okay, okay. Well, if you see it, it again, let me know the number. something. Well, anyway. Addy, thank you for the super chat. Jesse Cox, it's a really good non-spoil lore vids, by the way. Oh, good to know. Yeah, I watched his faction one uh, when I was struggling with the Assians, Alligans, Garleans, and Primals. This was like back in A Realm Reborn. Uh, I wa uh, John suggested that to me, and it, it helped out a lot. It gave me at least a frame of reference for who it was. It was really the Assian Alligan that I was... Alligan? Alligan, yeah, that I was struggling with at the time keeping track of mm. but by gotcha. the time of the crystal tower things were a little more clear because it was defined what was assy and what was alligan alligan really yeah came into frame for me for during crystal tower because i i didn't i didn't go look up anything during a realm reborn i i watched the no clip doc which i think helped a lot it really helped set up the state of the world for me um so I, I can't recommend that no clip doc enough. On top of the fact that it's just really interesting to hear the whole story of how this game got freaking made. Soul, thank you for the super chat. I highly recommend doing all the beast tribes in each expansion. Completing them gives you a nice reward in every expansion up to Stormblood. What's the reward? Because <clears throat> it sounds like a lot of work. I mean, I, you know, it, it does sound like a lot of work. Yeah. Reward? I, I gotta say, the XL, uh, they don't, they don't. They don't seem particularly interesting to me. Only because it's grindy. Like I, I think the story would be interesting, but I'm, I'm concerned about the, the grind of it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Mounts and minions, yeah. minions. Okay. Sin wants us to know that if we ever want our extreme mounts from the primals, to let, let them know, and they will, uh, they will carry our butts through them. Because I guess the okay. extremes got even easier. I'm... So I really just want the Garuda one at some point. Um. Oh, the horse. I... The pony. Yeah, well, it plays the music from the primal, which is why yeah. I want the Garuda one. Um, but I'm in no rush. I already, like, I, I don't have a ton of mounts, but I already have, like, more than, like, I know what to do with. Like, I, I really, like, I'm, I'm very fond of my cloud mount because it's just so Dragon Ball Z. But, um, yeah, I do eventually want to get the Garuda one. I'm assuming you want the Titan one. I have the Leviathan one already, but I, yeah. Ah, cool. I mean, they all combine. You get all the horses, and then you get a final horse. That is the... Oh, I represents didn't know that. you having collected all of them. Uh, but I believe you walk in there like item level off or whatever it's called unsynced and you know your level 90 friend could just one shot the boss for you. Very cool. Okay. Yeah, let's take a day and do that. We'll have an adventure day. Yeah. We'll, uh, I mean, of the many adventure days we need to have, it's on the list. Get, yeah. Get, it's on the list. When we, when we, yeah, we'll have to add another day. <laughs> it's the. We gotta have a, we need a vibe day. Put it on the list. It's the Captain America thing. The list is ever growing. Because right now, I would say our main, our must do list is we want to see Shadowbringers. So, of course, I'm curious about those blue quests that people keep mentioning in the fringes. So, I'll look, I'll ask John about that and what those are about. Uh, and then we want to get caught up on, we have two dungeons to do. And what else? What else is before Shadowbringers here? Uh, oh, we, we get to go to Ivalice again. We have Omega Alpha Scape was 4.3. So we're nearly caught up in terms of not extra stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to see the side stuff, like the, the quote-unquote non-required stuff, like the raids and stuff, before we start Shadowbringers. Yeah. It's like... Like that is a because I, I have a feeling that once 
I start that, I am not going to want to get off the ride. No, and I was I was sitting around mm. all weekend just being amped for 4.3, so I can only imagine mm. that once we get to... Eureka's on there. Eureka would be a like party event. We do that one evening. Make sure we're all cross-worlded up, get everyone invited. We'll make a pretty big yeah. deal about that one since so many people can join us. Yeah. Um, you want to do some Q&A before we, we wrap this up? Yeah. We can move to the uh, the free company house yeah, outside. Yeah, let's, let's go to the house. Let's, 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 yeah, let's, let's, let's go home. to the house. I always forget our ward. What's our ward? Oh, you can just teleport there, right? Oh, uh, Well, I know, mists. but so we can tell people. Mists. Yeah, I know it's mists, but what, what ward are we? Ward and uh, plot. Ward and something? Here, we'll, we'll click the sign. Oh, that's right. You can just click the sign when you get there. I always forget that. It is plot 51, ward 15. Jeff, thanks for the super chat. Yep, every expansion's extremes have a capstone mount for collecting all of the individual mounts. Each expansion? Oh, interesting. Yep. I didn't know that was a thing. So again, we are adjourning to our free company home in plot 51, ward 15 in the mist. A little small on the beach if you've never been here before. Yeah. A little beach action. We'll, uh, we'll see ya. We'll see you here. We'll see you here. Oh, wait, this this chair. This chair is facing the wrong way, bro. If that's the thing. Are you inside? I'm inside. You're inside. Nice. But yeah, well, uh, if you if you sent questions in the earlier blast when Kyle got up and we didn't get to them, feel free to resend them. Tag at Grinding Gears. It'll make it a little easier to find. Forward and back. Yeah, exactly, Fane. Yeah, we got that. Uh, so here on my list, I have at 4.3. Return to Ivalice, the Lighthouse, and Omega Alpha Scape, and then uh, we get back to Four Lords and all that sort of thing later down the road. So it's been fun Ooh. dividing it up. But I know when it when it comes to like grinds and, and like the expression, all you got to do, all you got to do is just a few dailies a day. That's where I'm like, oh, that's the last thing I, I ever want to I'm 30. Hear. I, I've done it. I've done that for World of Warcraft. I can't. I can't do it anything. I can't do it. <laughs> uh. Oh, well, thank you for the code. Well, thank you for the code, Fame. I will. I will log in to that offline here. And I'll Soxier be sure asked the question if they can add us to their friends list. Yeah, go yeah. for it. I, I I do believe I'm getting close to the cap, though. Is there? Oh, is the cap coming up? I believe it's 200. Oh. Well, get in while <laughs> well, getting's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I may I may have to start purging at some point. Yeah. Your friends list. Oh, it's still going. Oh wow, the friends list is only two hundred. Yeah. Uh. The, the, the streamer privilege. <laughs> There's streamer problems, I guess. Uh, das asks, "What would be another race you would choose to do besides your Elizin and Hyor? May I recommend a cute aura girl?" Um, I would be a cat person. They're uh, they're too cool. I mean, after seeing the video someone sent me of. Asahi bending down to a Lollafell. I kind of want to do a Lollafell playthrough if I did another playthrough just to see what unique <laughs> things happen throughout the game. Yeah, I'd, I'd be a I'd be a cat dude or a cat girl. I don't know. They're adorable. <laughs> I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to get into characters I prefer, but sure, yeah. Sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, Das says quite a few have asked when you are planning the next Ivalice. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to be on a vacation, uh, with Katie for essentially the next two weeks. So that would so, be July 27th. As far Wait. as streams are concerned. Oh, that, 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 that's the video release week. So 28th. So July 28th would be return to Ivalice. Okay. So we will be, we will be cap. That'll be my first week back to streams. Yep. And that'll be the end of Ivalice, yes? Uh, no, no, no. That's uh, wing two. I believe there's one more wing. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, oh, you're yeah. right. You're right. Yeah, we've only done the one. Ivalice is the only time where I've been like, I kind of just want to mainline all of this because I like it so much. I agree. I don't. I'm I like. 
I like Omega enough. Don't get me wrong, but Ivalice takes uh, takes a cake for me. Absolutely. Uh, the Alliance raids have just had a level of energy and polish on them that's just been absurd. And I really like seeing the mechanics they come up with when they divide the three different parties up. Uh, I don't know. So it looks like Return to Ivalice Monastery came out in 4.4. So let's play. It's, gotcha. it's probably not Shadowbringers related in any way. <clears throat> gotcha. Rosie, thank you for the super chat. Hey guys, love watching your content and streams. I'm in the Dentalis Theater Company, the free company for the Playframe YouTube channel. We're on Curl too. <laughs> Hell yeah! Awesome. Hell yeah! I love I, I love when people get stoked when, when we're like, oh, you're on Curl, you're on Curl, I'm on Curl. I, I enjoy this. I enjoy these moments. And uh, 6v6, welcome to the Gearbox. Thanks for becoming a member. Thanks for joining us. Abuse your emojis with wanton abandon. Uh, Brosie, uh, if, if you have a recommended video from your your company, feel free to drop it in our Discord there in the content channel. Oh, oh, hell yeah. To, curious oh, to see what you all yeah. get up to. Skull asked, uh, do you feel the quality of combat content has increased in Stormblood, if so, by a small or large scale. Um, oh my goodness, sorry, cat butt just showed up in on my screen, very large. I just got a very large shot of someone's rear in a bikini, <laughs> um, and it distracted me. Uh, what was I gonna say? Um, I would say so, yeah. I would say it's a, it, it feels like a major leap forward. Absolutely. Um, which, which, like, isn't, like, there's still highlights from, like, Heaven's Ward. And not so much a Realm Reborn, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, if anything, the stuff that stands out from Realm Reborn are the uh, the things they redid with the the 6.1 patch, where yeah. they added in uh, the the universal, you know, uh, telegraph mechanics. Um, Freaking, trying to think. Um, yeah, it, the the quality of everything in Stormblood it, it is really good. It it it, it doesn't seem comparable to RR or Heaven's Ward. No, Heaven's Ward was a standard that was very approachable, you could say, coming from World of Warcraft. It was standard. Uh, Heaven's Ward... Heaven's Ward, I, I still like the music. I think Heaven's Ward music and it's the way it used color and tones throughout its adventure was really stellar, but just design-wise, particularly when it comes to the animation and the bosses, that stuff really, really matters to me a ton. They're mm. like, I'm trying to think of a non heroes of the storm example, but it's a game I've played a lot, a lot over the years, <laughs> but there, there are things like leading when, when you have a character and as you turn left, their head turns left, like that sort of stuff really immerses me in a game. So when I see in this game, like someone like just in the dungeon we just did when he turned around with no ground indicator and started charging his blast mixing that with the ground indicators and combining all these elements visual audio cues names of abilities like the way they're messing with it in stormblood just shows how much content they have how much the system can be played with i i don't i i mean i appreciate that kind of stuff it's not I don't pick up on it as much, uh, usually because I'm just trying not to stand in poop. <laughs> I'm usually sure. staring at the ground. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm there with you. The, the, I, I keep coming back to like that fit and finish. Like I think so much it's, it's a thing I think about a lot in this game is that like, I, you know, there's a lot of things in this game that are comparable to other MMOs I played, but there's a, an attention to detail and a, and a, and a final fit and finish that is unlike thing, something I've experienced in WoW or or the Old Republic or other MMOs that I that I've enjoyed. It's uh, it's that it's that joke I keep coming back to of it's excessive and well executed. Like it, there's just there's so much, but it all fits together, and all of these individual little pieces just make the whole sum of this product uh, a lot more impactful than I think it would be. It, it could easily be otherwise. It would be so e there's so many times where I go, it'd be so much easier to not put that much effort in or 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 cut corners here or cut corners there and and they really don't anywhere like Dude, the writing like the, the graphics the mechanics 
the fractal continuum bosses we just saw reskinned with robo crap on them like that didn't have to exist that literally could have been them taking the slider dial and turning them green and saying good enough yeah they yeah i don't <laughs> it's it's impressive i continue to be impressed uh sub goal to fantasia to a cat man or love <laughs> after and walker we can we can we can talk about that yeah we are i'm we're i'm dedicated. completing my the journey i'm currently on as the character i am i, I, I am. got my uh what was it fantasia i got that and i sat there for a bit being like oh do i want to change and i really debated i, it. I did too for a hot second i was like oh i could be hot <laughs> but but I was, i'm really attached to my my warrior plight this is this is this is me in game yeah I've heard um, some people commented after the last stream that L's and facial emotions are really muted. And I actually saw that when I looked at your footage today. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. It, it, when I'm like shocked, I'm like, oh, whereas you're like, oh. what? So it's I, I like it. It's built the character in my head, though. I'm a very calm, collected kind of guy. Mm. My, in my, again, I've said I've said multiple times I am a mildly murderous himbo in my head that's my head cannon for my warrior i'm a little bit of a of a dope um but a lovable dope goblin thank you for the super chat goblin queen yumi thanks for letting me come for fractal hard guys it's been a while since i've been in there so much fun hope to do more stuff love yumi hell thanks yeah for thanks us. for coming gg it's fun running with you that was a hell of a damn fun and dungeon yeah fun that was really dungeon. really cool uh, Trip says, uh, if grinding gear gets to 20k subs, I think Garrett has to be a lala for two weeks. That's more like a 50k sub goal. <laughs> <laughs> How much is the Fantasia? Uh, I mean, we have one already. I think they're 10 bucks on the store. Well, we can't do uh, 50k subs as we do our wall of waifus and husband, though. So that, that sub goal is already claimed, but we can, we can oh, put it okay. somewhere. Okay. Okay. Uh, Brazi, think of the super chat. Sure. Should I put the link in general on Discord? Uh, Wait, there's what? a there's a room called Content and Guides. Drop it in there. That, that's kind of where we share oh, videos. Sorry, we're getting back to that. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Throw it in there. And uh, tag us so we see it. That will be easy for us to find. Uh, Daykoth just gifted five memberships. Very cool. Daykoth, thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. Appreciate it. It's extremely kind of you. If you got a membership from Daykoth, thank your fellow monster lover. Uh, Larry monster asks, fan, monster enthusiast. What are your favorite jobs slash classes so far, and what jobs are you most interested in trying next? Hmm. Do you have an answer? <laughs> I've. Uh, black mage I, i'm really i would say at this point like 80 percent sure that's what i'm gonna do for Shadowbringer. i'm really feeling it i like try i really want to try out range dps it's a, the only role i haven't tried out yet and it'd be fun to it'd be fun to do n walker as like what i love most if not reaper because i think reaper looks badass but i think i'm gonna do black mage yeah, I'm, I, uh, Reaper's top of my list. Uh, Black Mage was at the very beginning something that I just thought sounded cool. And then I kind of like quickly looked into the mechanics and I was like, that looks like more than I want to learn when getting into a new game. Um, so that's why I went Summoner. Um, I do want to get back to my Summoner. I know, I know they're stupid simple, but I just think they have such gorgeous spell animations. Um, Reaper's 100% top of the list, but I would say uh, Paladin. Um, yeah, Paladin's really As I mentioned before, it, it's, it's a weird answer because I'm not enthusiastic about leveling it, but it's a job that I really want to have at max because they just look so cool. Yeah, absolutely. But their story looks horribly dull. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> uh, Gabgano thinks our characters fit very well. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I love that I get to have my old emo hair that I... I guess I could. There's nothing stopping me from having this hair again, but I feel I've outgrown it in real life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like club shirts for me, you know? We got to leave things behind sometimes. What are club shirts? Club shirts are the things they wear at BlizzCon, you know, like those big bowling shirts. Oh, bowling short yeah, shirts. Yeah, bowling oh, shirts. dude, that was out of fashion like in 99. I know, but they're so comfy and they're kind of silky and like I, they, they are chill. 
Uh, like, uh, you got to get into Hawaiian shirts, dude. This is silky. Okay. This yeah, right here. That's why I wear these things all the time. The version, you know, I, I try to okay. avoid cargo shorts as well because, you know, I'm not 12, but I do like cargo shorts a lot. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm judging you. I don't mean I to. I know. I know. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Cargo shorts are they're they're tier one fashion sin in my book. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I definitely wore them when they were a hot, the hot item in like, you know, 97. Um. They're terribly I, convenient, yet as a dad, I'm not <laughs> supposed to wear them for fashion's sake. I don't have any cargo shorts at the moment, but I wish I did. <laughs> but you are a dad. That's your excuse. I know. I try not to go full dad, you know, with the, oh, okay. the, the socks and the. Sandals. Well, right now is the time to do it. They're, you know, they're young enough. They don't have a concept <laughs> they don't of their remember. Dad being a dork. <laughs> they won't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Fane says, Garrett, we get three nuked from orbit lasers. Come back to the summoner side. <laughs> I'll get there. I'll, I'll, I'll come back one day. I, I like it. I like it. That's where I started. Uh, Alex said, I switched to Paladin as my main for Endwalker simply for the artifact armor. Okay. And then smile. So I'm just like, oh, should I look it up? Should I not look it up? Uh, Ravio, did you like the Dark Knight job quest story in Stormblood? Yes, I did. You need to do it, dude. Kyle, the Dark Knight quest. I've I've heard I've heard it's amazing. It's so good. All right, so I'm, it's so good. I need to level up my Black Mage. Maybe while you're out of town, maybe one of the streams I'll do Dark Knight quest. That'd be fun. But cool. I would love to do. I that is a I I, I don't want to commit to doing all job videos, but I would. I'm totally down to do one when we're just feeling it and we're just like jazzed we about simply, it. I would love to no, do a Dark Knight video. No, we we're not going to commit to that because then we'd have to do a video for like Paladin and stuff, and I don't I don't want to really something yeah. that, that tame maybe is the best way to put it. Yeah. Uh, oh, thank you, Valina. Appreciate it. It's very kind. Oh, Sean uh, redacted their message, but thank you for the super chat. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Sean. Yeah. Not sure what happened there. Uh, interesting. Hope it's all good. Well, yeah. Hope it's all good. Thank you for the generous super chat. Dino, thanks for the super chat. Looks like I got here just in time to say good night. Have a great weekend, guys. Thanks, thank Dino. Thank you very much. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for the thanks for the super chat. Uh, also, Black Mage Kyle would explain all the deaths to mechanics. Shade would never be thrown again for a death. <laughs> 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 that is the most playful shade I've ever seen. I like seen. that. I like that. That's good. That, but I was so when I got to the game, the last thing I ever wanted to touch was Black Mage because tab targeting casting terribly overdone in world of warcraft however their mana management mechanic is actually kind of busy and has a decent like kind of macro micro gameplay to it so i'm kind of enjoying it and the spells are flashy enough we'll see we'll see as i kind of hit black mage proper if i stick with it I'm just scrolling through real fast wait what was your message for? What? He sent me a message. I'm confused by it. Oh, in that Discord. was in Discord. That was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Long ago. Okay. Gotcha. And then I was just checking the uh, the members Discord real quick. It looks like we got to all the questions in there a while ago. Everyone started talking about lasagna. I've heard that it kind of wakes up and changes quite a bit. Like right now, I'm using a lot of the the button that lets me change what aspect i'm in and it's it's fun oh shoot sarcastic geek just gifted five memberships nice looks like john doe ricks i forget that i can see this but you gotta yeah. be clicking the draw because it doesn't show it in activity you gotta look at it in chat so uh john rixa ginger archer karis ruined wolf you were all just gifted memberships by the generous sarcastic geek thank you sarcastic geek Oh, what happened? Uh, what's happening with Astrologian? Do we have any idea? Because I know that change was delayed, but does anyone know what's going on? What? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Daz. Thank you for the in-game bucks as well. Appreciate it. Daz, Daz is just being a baller. Yeah. Just showing up like, oh, here, here's some teleport funds. <laughs> we have no clue, huh? Appreciate it, Daz. For the Astrologian update. Weird. 
Okay, so it hasn't really been teased. So just they just know you just know something's coming. <laughs> Patrick says in an astronaut ocean main, I am terrified. Yeah, I I love that class. I really do. It's such a unique. St I I kind of want a white mage so I can shoot the big giga laser in PvP. But other than that, I, Astrologian healing is just really fresh. I don't think I'll enjoy another healer to that level. The lore of mm. Sage is super cute. Uh, what what it, it, you know healing stones, Garrett? Right, like you put heat stones on your body and they activate your chakras and stuff like that. Like in real life? Yeah, yeah, in real life. It's like stuff I am very, super skeptical of and don't believe in. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> the idea with Sage is that you they've attached those healing stones to mini robots and then they send out those robots to fly around you in circles and that's how it heals. <laughs> so they took a like ancient style of healing and retrofitted it with technology and it's a it's a really cute idea. Okay. All right, that is that is cute. I like the style of Sage. I, just keep I like hearing people talking about Sage like I will heal heal you with guns. Yeah, that's. I, I, I like the style. I like the hmm and the kind of the doctoral feel of it. But my problem with Sage, just looking at it without knowing what the abilities do, is it's all lasers. Like Astrologian, I had a lot of different flavors of healing. There was this thing that made me look like a planetarium, and this thing that shot stars in my cards. Like Sage is just so crazy loud that it's all lasers that I bounced off it with a little disinterest, but I didn't give it a really solid go because I quickly got involved in uh, Black Mage. Hmm. Uh, well, along those lines, Janara, thank you for the super chat. Getting a Black Mage out of his ley lines to dodge mechanics is like trying to pull a cat out of its favorite cardboard box. I mean, I've died a couple of times being greedy recently, so it'd be on point. <laughs> Oh, uh, you can unlock Sage now, by the way. Chat's yep. informing yeah, us. Yeah, I'm already, I'm already saging it up. Or, oh, you know, look at you. The basic, I got my basic quest done, but. Laser, well, laser, <laughs> laser, the card mechanics are so good. And I love Yu-Gi-Oh! And I love the, the big cards on my head and the planetarium planets. And lasers are I fun. Get it. But, I get it, man. Yeah. You don't have to explain it to me. I love the idea of like, is he healing? And I'm just like putting cards on my dual disc and just like busting my ass in the corner, <laughs> working 10 times harder just to get a simple heal out. Patrick says, if you play Scholar, the buttons map nearly one one with Sage's buttons. Oh, interesting. interesting. Okay, well, hey. That's cool. And you have a gap closer as a Sage. Like a jump in? Oh, that'd be that's fun. How I would, that's how I read that. Yeah. Sean, thanks for the super chat. My friend says Sage feels like Disc Priest almost heal while damaged, though it's more shields. I love shields. I love Disc Priest. It was the thing I played the most in World of Warcraft. Same, actually. Um, I, I don't. I've never really cared for healing, uh, but I do. I did enjoy the PvP healing and WoW, and I would always be a Disc Priest, and I loved it. I loved every minute of it. The mobility is super fun. fun in this game. I think. I'm I'm basing a lot of my decisions right now because I don't know balance. I'm basing it off of animations, and that's tied to my character, the uh, Elzen. So, for I think Red Mage, thematically with the engage disengage is really really fun. I, it's a little floaty, on my Elzen. The attacks don't look like they connect, but I'm also coming out of like, I'm coming out of Samurai right now where everything I do looks like it hits like a truck. And I love the way I bend down. I love the way my lanky character looks performing those animations. <laughs> you are so lanky. How I live in real life. life and in yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I can say I'm a lanky man myself, so, you know, I get it. That's how days. Thank you for the super chat. I highly recommend reading the journal as you progress through the Dark Knight quests. It adds to the experience, maybe tear up too. Oh, hmm. the, as in the journal when like you open the quest and it gives a summary. I'm actually not sure. I'm assuming that's what you mean. Feel free to add us and follow that up. Yep, says Cuddly huh. Zombie. Interesting. Thanks for hanging out tonight, Das. Yeah. You have a good one. That's what they mean. Okay. Yeah, I have not been. I don't really pay attention to it. I got to say, I'm being, I'm, I'm, I ain't going to lie to you. 
Dark has some very unique journal entries. <laughs> oh, all right. All right, good to know. <laughs> I, I was, <laughs> this is, uh, this is the first time I'm hearing about the Dark yeah. Knight journal. You've been talking about how much you love Dark, I, I, it's never come up. It's never come up. No, no, or at least if it has, you know, we get a lot of messages. I don't, I, I try is, to keep an eye on everything, but yeah. Hi from Australia. What time is it in Australia right now? I, I, I guess actually it's, it's probably a lot more sane yeah, for you than it is actually, for us. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're past midnight, my man. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm going to be, I'm like, I'm going to be on the stream for, I'm going to be in the Florida Keys next week. So getting in before I go. You like, can read uh, it again in the completed tab. Okay, cool. Good to know. Well, like, um, uh, uh, um, Machinist. Machinist? Machinist? Which one is it? I, always, I forget all the time. Uh, I always think it's Machinist and everyone tells me I'm wrong, so it's Machinist. Machinist. Machinist does this backwards side flip when it shoots a bullet and I can't, I can't do it. Like, maybe someday I will bridge that gap and I don't have this plethora of jobs to enjoy, but it's such a low impact looking move that it really ruins my immersion. Like that's a bad way to put it, but you know, it, it's just a, there was this spin that the trolls did as a warrior in World of Warcraft that just had no weight to it. You, any two-hander, they do the spin jump thing and it really had no weight to it. And it really bothered me. So <laughs> I'm a stickler for one of those, those kind of things. Okay. I just, you, you, every time you do this move, you do a flip. Really? You have a gun. There's no need to do a flip. Hmm. Oh, Boopy just super chat says the changes for Astrologian and what's the RG? Dragoon? Yeah, Dragoon. Uh, are for longevity. They feel the jobs have hit a wall and cannot expand on them in new expansions. That's interesting. an interesting issue to have but huh. one i get oh you know what um i've had a question for y'all actually it's something that's come up um here and there so i'm gonna I'm make a little poll here in the meantime daykoth wants to know if we ever got a perfection in a halo game no What's a perfection? Is that beyond legendary? Uh, it's uh, I think it's I think it's Slayer specific. How many kills? 20, 15, something like that. It's it's a good chunk of kills and no deaths. So I this guess is, I could Google this. This is an expression I see all the time across Twitter and Reddit and whatever. Like every time I look up anything about healing, try to look up guides, constantly. People talk about how much healer has been dumbed down and how it has been reduced in order to fill out cues and like it's not as fun as it once was. And is that true, or is that just kind of a a, a view of Reddit and people who are currently not playing the game? You know what I mean? Like that happens a lot. You have the community that's currently not playing is pl is talking about the game on Reddit, and then the people <laughs> who are playing are like happy and perfectly content. I like what aspiring scholar is asking for. Can we get a it's complicated option? That's I mean, that's a good option. I am asking you to choose here. So I would say it's complicated is a no in this case. Mm. Interesting reading through all this. The other concern a lot of people are saying it got easier, but not worse. OK, a concern I'm hearing a lot too is that it's homogenized across the four classes and it's not as interesting as it could be. Mm. I mean, I've heard, I've been told from a lot of people that tanking has been dumbed down too, so. But I don't know, tanking gets dumbed down everywhere. Like, it used to be hard as shit in World of Warcraft. I, I, I learned on Warrior and Burning Crusade, and I was like, this is nuts. And apparently yeah. it was even harder in vanilla. And and then, you know, I switched to Paladin in Wrath of the Lich King, and I could make a sandwich after I dropped a Consecration. <laughs> it was, and I love it. I love that. Yeah. a great time. I don't, it's not a complaint, but it did get easier, 100%. I'm with you there, man. It was, um, 
I just, I really disliked how little mana mattered in the later expansions like Legion. Mana management was a huge part of BC and mm. it's an older thing. Like looking back on it, I'm like, it probably wasn't fun. So that maybe that's more uh, what I'm asking is, did the classes get more fun? Did they remove bad mechanics? Because complexity does not mean fun. Null saying Dark Knight had a DPS stance that met no MP regen, so you had to bounce in and out since every ability for enmity was MP based. Oh, that is wild. That actually, uh, I've never been a huge fan of stance dancing. Um, I remember doing it back in uh, with like the BC Warrior. Uh, I didn't, I didn't love it. I felt like a badass, but like once I got rid of it, I did not miss it. You're talking about like warrior stance dancing to like get yeah. a little aggro or yeah. a rage and stuff like that. Well, there were like certain ability. I think back in the day you couldn't charge and prot. Yeah, so you had to be in balance battle or whatever stand. it was called. Yeah, I think battle. It was battle yeah. I think it was battle. Stand. Do not quote me on this. To My engage, memory on this is then you shit. would switch, and then you yeah. switch back to use like one of the rage mechanic abilities and get that I going. I think I could be misremembering. Yeah, Maybe put, it was intercept or something, but. Yeah, no, you're right. You're. Right. I think it was charge, and then you, and then you take. You'd have to put five points in the talent that gave you rage whenever you let you hold on to rage when you would stand stance. So that was mm -hmm. a required bit. Jezzer, thanks for the super chat. Fourteen tanks used to have to manually manage their aggro. Hmm. How so? I mean, that's an interesting idea that your off tank would have a DPS stance that could, you could chill in while you weren't. If you had to do tank swapping. Yeah, because I, I guess the big thing in Final Fantasy 14 is if there's a tank swap, you're supposed to turn off your enmity generation, which I have not been doing, by the way. Which I have not been doing. Accuracy? Oh, absolutely chaos. I do not want to miss. I... In like a D and D based RPG where we're rolling rolling the dice, I don't mind missing, particularly turn based. Like that's just part of the chance you're taking. But oof, real time combat, I don't want to miss. Mm, yeah, I agree. Oh yeah, old tank stance give you 150 potency of enmity on every hit, but reduce your DPS by 20%. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying now. All right. Oh, that's nutty. That sounds like a lot of work, especially in a game that doesn't want you seeing your damage. Like. That's that's weird, man. Yeah, what reward are you chasing when you're not competing for numbers in that way? Yeah. Arngren wants us to look up Steps of Faith before it got nerfed. That was their super chat. I I heard that that used to be crazy. Yeah, difficult. dude, the comments in our last YouTube video. Yeah, really? Yeah, if you go, you go. I mean, this we <laughs> sounds like a brag. We got so many comments, it's going to be hard to find, but um yeah there's quite a few i notice a pattern of people being like yo you don't understand old steps of faith was a nightmare apparently as some people said it was hard enough that it was like blocking some people from finishing the msq oh wow back in old back in og heaven's ward i i mean i like that idea personally if i'm playing live of course at this stage of the game you gotta keep people moving but if i was modern and i got to like uh god king emperor and, and it was like nah you can't beat him you, you gotta have to work hard you gotta get some better gear i'd be fine with that i'd be a little bummed at this point though like it's hard for me to think about it in that like yeah hey thanks fan thanks for hanging have a good night i'm gonna have a good time thanks for wishing me well i'm looking forward to taking some time off our right, wojo thanks for the super chat a lot of us ogs remember beginning ninjas for their goad goad Old tp stuff What's TP stuff? <laughs> this, there's too much of this in code. I don't know what this means. Ninja Goad. You Googling? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can answer this a little bit. Goad ability. Refreshes TP. Oh, this was affinity. I think this is affinity oh. related. <laughs> What's TP? Yeah, yeah. There's all the older players here are gonna be like these these nerds. Refreshes don't even TP know. on a sink. Wait, wasn't is T TP was the like stamina bar? Yeah, that's what folks are saying in chat right now. It was yeah. uh, akin to stam. So you had to level alt jobs in order to get certain abilities. That not a huge fan of that idea. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Y'all kids are spoiled since they Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> A lot of people saying they don't, they do not miss it. Yeah. 
sprint ate all of your TP. Oh, gross. Tactically, yeah, that's just that's just not fun. Interesting, maybe in a solo game, but the idea that my my raid would be ruined because someone messed up their sprint like that that's not that's mm, not fun mm, yeah that's why i, I really that. like the vulnerability stacks mechanic because it punishes you based on how much you've messed up up to this point and when i get one shot i go yeah i've been kind of screwing around not because i screwed up once boo thanks for the super chat the main problem is the content difficulty doesn't keep up with how strong tanks and heals have become. It's a meme that warriors don't need healers. Oh, is that why people do the warrior thing? Okay. Interesting. I mean, I, okay. I feel like I die. If, Kyle, if Kyle's healing me and gets mildly distracted, I have a minor heart attack every time. <laughs> do warriors have kind of a lot of hit, get health back for themselves? Is that kind of their main mechanic? Yeah. I wonder how much... Well, that, I mean, it's a mechanic for me as a dark knight, but like... I mean, our healer went down tonight. I dropped like a freaking sack of potatoes. Nowhere, man. If you got a video like that, post in our Discord. There's a content and uh, guides channel. I'd love to take a look at what Final Fantasy used to be like. Yeah. Yeah. Well, dude, I gotta say, I'm I'm fading a bit. Yeah. Well, it's past midnight for you, so understandable. Yeah. Understandable. I, I enjoyed doing the Q and A here. Yeah. On, uh, on on nights where. Uh, or we finish earlier and or just uh, overcome by energy. We should do this a little more often. Though. This Definitely. is fun. Definitely. Well, we're, we're watching some credits go by here. So thank you, everybody, for joining us. Tonight. Oh, yeah. I uh, I am legitimately going to miss the streams. Uh, I, I tend to not miss really anything when I when I when I go down to the Florida Keys, but I'm going to miss the streams and I look forward to coming back fresh and hungry for Shadowbringers. Yeah, yeah, I'm hungry for Shadowbringers, Kyle. I agree. A big serving of Shadowbringers. We got some stuff to do before then, but thank you all for hanging out tonight. It was awesome being here. Thank you for everyone who gifted subs, who subbed, who donated via the Super Chat system. Really, really appreciate y'all. It was fun hanging out. And thank you for answering our questions here at the end, too. Like, you ask questions, we ask questions. That was really nice. Enjoyed talking yeah. with y'all. Yeah, this is great. Thanks, everybody, for the well wishes. Thanks for the support. Uh, the growth we have seen the last, like, month and a half has been insane absolutely so, yeah so thank you so much so garrett's gonna be heading out on vacation uh, i'll be here man in the fort we'll be missing monday because we're gonna have to get some recording done and stuff like that but uh, i'll be back tuesday and then i'll do thursday and so there'll be events follow them in the discord join the with the link below there'll be posts on the youtube subscribe to it that's how you can find out when the future streams are coming up we're gonna do a lot of pvp like i said some black mage and heck, uh, maybe we'll do that Dark Knight quest line so that Garrett and I can make a video about it in the future. Yeah. Oh, and I'm going to drop my Instagram in the uh, chat because uh, yeah. if you want to see pictures from Key West, that's where I post them. <laughs> I don't really uh, mention my Instagram much because I basically don't get into my content creation stuff on there. It's, it's very personal. Uh, but if you want to see photos from Key West, uh, I will be posting them on there. Give awesome. me a follow. Y'all have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. GG.